Hey guys, welcome back to another Nerd Theory Monday. Hope you're all having a great week so far. Josh was texting me earlier. He says this is going to be the most wild Nerd Theory to date. And um, I suppose we have some things to discuss and talk about. So Josh, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing well, man. And yes, I just want to tell the chat and I want to tell everybody that I think this might go down as one of the best Nerd Theories ever. There's just so much to talk about. Breaking news just happened about one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight and i think that you know what we've built here and with the community and with the discussions that you and i've been having for more than two years really does show kind of like a really good example of like what star wars is and where star wars is currently at and so i think that uh and maybe it's just i'm getting all caught up in the moment but i think that this is going to be a podcast tonight that I think a lot of people will think back to in maybe the next couple of years when some of these things either happen or don't happen. Um, and so, yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm in a really weird Zen state with some of this stuff. I'm really looking forward to just talking to my homie about it and seeing what you think and getting into it with the chad and seeing what the chat thinks man. Yeah, yeah. hi what the hell's going on no i mean you know maybe a little bit but also on, i uh -oh. just i really think that where considering where star wars is at right now and considering where the fandom is at right now and some of the stuff that we're going to talk about tonight dude it's very meaningful <laughs> like this is uh yeah this might end up being the next star wars movie that we're going to talk about tonight and I think that there's a lot on the line for Star Wars with regards to that. And, uh, you know, we're also going to, you know, I'm sure we'll talk a little Andor. We'll talk a little about the Ezra show rumors and just in general, man. It's like we're at a crossroads right here, I feel like. Um, and I think this is going to go a certain way. And I'm very curious how the fans, how you, how myself uh, are going to react to this, dude. It's crazy. Okay. So first we have a, a, we have a bunch of different stories tonight everyone um we have about two thousand people in the chat if you can all hit like that would really help to start it off we have a few super chats that we'll read i see that you guys sent some before we even started the show um we're gonna talk about andor but right now we need to cover the news and one of the first things here is disney tells kathleen kennedy to stop announcing star wars movies allegedly now of course as you know on nerd theory we don't uh confirm or deny any rumors we're just here to talk about what every other article is pushing out and kind of notify is this bullshit or is this legit and to give our own theories and talk about it too so what are the credentials behind this story is this legit or yeah what's really going on where's this from? so the wanna, puck as you know? far as i understand it, yeah let me pull it up so i'm looking at this guys on the direct.com mm -hmm. and the website that ran this story is called puck and i'm fairly certain this was something that was either entirely started um by an insider named jeff snyder who used to work at collider uh or at least partially by jeff snyder and jeff snyder has just in the past month gotten two huge scoops for marvel that were then confirmed by the trades i think he's got a really good track record so if this is coming from somebody via the puck I would at least trust that this person is hearing this from people in Hollywood. There's always a slant to things, so it's a little bit of hearsay. We don't know for sure. But I would categorize this as uh, likely to be true. And the most important part of this article is right here. Industry insider Matthew, is it is, is that Baloney? How, do you, how would you uh, pronounce that? B-E-L-L-Baloney. Baloney. I was going to say, is this guy's last name literally Baloney? Is this all a joke? Anyway, uh, of Puck reported that Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy was advised by Disney to stop announcing projects and creative partners. The reasoning for the blockage comes down to media management, an effort to prevent fans and press from further tackling Lucasfilm following the cancellation of a slew of projects in recent years. The Rogue Squadron announcement video by Patty Jenkins and exiting press release for Ryan Johnson and D.B. Weiss and David Benioff's respective trilogies are examples of Star Wars hype falling flat, an issue Disney is attempting to avoid. So that is the first story, and I think that's significant for a couple of different reasons. Number one, because it's coming from Disney. 
meaning Disney obviously frustrated with this and i would venture to say a couple of other things when it comes to lucasfilm and they're trying to stop when these things get canceled the fans tackling them dogpiling them other industry you know reporters or junkets like covering the story in such a way i was on reddit earlier because a lot of this is being kicked up because of another report of a Star Wars movie being written by David Lindelof, which is like crazy. And we're going to get into that. But yeah, because I don't really know who that guy is. Yeah. So, no, David, David Lindelof. Jokers, so. Yeah. David Lindelof is a very, very talented writer. Uh, he's he's done a lot of really dope stuff and we can like pull up his credentials. But this is following that. And it's essentially when I was like looking on Reddit earlier. Man, I saw a bunch of different fans talking about the Lindelof project and basically saying, yeah, probably not. And even somebody in the comment section even said it's so telling of where Star Wars is currently at that when Star Wars gets a film announcement or a film announcement or rumor comes out for Star Wars, the fan base's honest reaction is, yeah, I don't think so. We'll see about that. And that's kind of a reputation that I would argue Kathleen Kennedy has earned. Yeah. So this is an example of disney telling her to stop announcing stuff which also could explain some of the lack of announcements that we had throughout this year right mm -hmm. um and i don't know so what do you what do you make of this story like what what's your gut telling you oh i think it would be a fantastic decision if they just have her stop being like the face of announcing things um i think dave filoni should take that uh, mantle I think he should be the one announcing future projects and stuff, even though maybe that's not his uh, in his you know pay grade, for example. But I think he's well received. He's a conduit to the fans, you know. And I think you know in restaurants you have. I had a job when I was in my twenties. Uh, I was an expo, and that's where you're not a server, you're not a chef, but you're working in between. You work mm -hmm. in the back of house, and you basically have to convey everything that's either wrong or right with orders to the kitchen for the servers and to the servers for the kitchen. I think Dave Filoni is a great candidate for that. He could be the expo for uh, Star Wars or Lucasfilm to the fans. I don't think Kathleen Kennedy has a great reputation with a lot of people. Yeah. Um, just judging by online. And I think a new face would be definitely a good decision. So I don't know if that's what the article is exactly saying. Like they're not, it's not specifically kathy's delivery that i think they're frustrated with it's the fact that she's green lighting projects talking about them publicly announcing them in some way shape or form and then they fall apart and so even if dave became the face which i agree with you is actually a really good idea because i think he's just better on a stage he understands the fans he understands what they like and put a pin in that because we're going to talk a lot about dave filoni as far as the future of star wars is concerned but I think what this article is really saying is Disney is telling Lucasfilm at large, stop announcing projects. Like, don't do that. We don't want any more hype that leads to nothing. Interesting. Yeah. So, so she's kind of just going against what she's supposed to, or what's what's even allowed for her to do. And she's just and like, oh, yeah, we're working on this. We're working on that. And then it just never happens because they're kind of pie in the sky things. Yeah. So I think that they're probably telling her, like, until you've actually got script shooting schedule and cameras are ready to roll don't announce something now the problem with that is of course that they've literally shot stuff and she's still come in and interfered and wrecked things you know what i mean yeah uh, like we've done the whole story absolutely yeah the whole solo like thing solo. yeah and uh even uh rogue one you know what i mean um yeah so i don't know uh i think to me like what i really read out of this article here and, and just this statement is that Disney is frustrated with Kathy and Lucasfilm. And this is just probably one example of them trying to tighten it off. And a story that kind of broke last week, but uh, it was like earlier, I think it was like, app, maybe it was Tuesday or Wednesday. I forget when I sent it to you. But Michelle Rejwan, who is a senior vice president, and was like, from what I understand, like really close with Kathy. And actually, you know, it's funny. She was the lady. I don't know if you remember this, but when Rise of Skywalker was coming out, do you remember the, like randomly there was this other lady that's like talking about Rise and the Skywalker saga and all that? Chat, maybe you guys remember. No, who's this? That was Michelle Rejwan. So <laughs> Michelle Rejwan was 
Oh Absolutely. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember she had like photos where she was on set for I think episode nine. Yes. And yeah, I right. I think they sort of had planned for her to either be Kathy's successor or be some kind of like a sheriff in town, uh, you know, when Kathy would depart or whatever, right? And so to me, the Michelle Rejwan, you know, what you want you want to call it firing, you want to call it demoting. I'm sure there's people in chat that will argue and say, like, well, she's still got a producer gig. That's just kind of par for the course. That's like a polite thing that a studio does to you after they basically fire you. They allow you to be a producer until you get on your feet again, right? So with Rejwan gone last week. A story like this coming out the following week, I just feel like it could be the case that Disney is kind of tired of her shit and kind of tired of where Star Wars is at. It seems to be a unique Lucasfilm problem because Marvel, for all the faults of Phase 4, is still absolutely killing it, you know, like mostly. So Star Wars has to be a thorn in Disney's side, and I think that's what this story is, man. Interesting. So... It's not, she, it's not that she's being stripped of her powers. She's just being told, yo, no more announcing shit. Exactly. Yeah. So now to a degree, you could say that's a little bit of stripping of power because obviously usually a studio head, especially a president of a studio, is going to decide more or less what projects they're going to do and when they're going to start hyping it up, right? But I think that, you know, what this is meaning is that there's some kind of brand damage that's calculable to Disney that's going on when these projects just keep falling through, you know, and the other thing too, is like, is this creating a scenario in which Disney itself is beginning to get a reputation where you don't want to work for them? You know, a story, I think it just came out where Tim Burton came out and said he would never work with Disney again. You know what I mean? I think this happened, you know, within a couple of days. So it, it feels like there's a wider kind of, uh, issue going on here and disney you know they might blame some of that on kathy i mean star wars is super high profile dude like the rogue squadron stories you know from roller skate i love my dad video all the way to delayed indefinitely they created the news cycle you know what i mean like that's that's in the trades that's being spread around on social media we're talking about it on our show it's a huge thing dude it's a huge huge thing and it's a bad look so I just think that this is an example of perhaps a sort of sign you add in the Rejwan thing and all of a sudden it's like rubber meets the road kind of a, a situation, I think. Oh, look, I've said this a long time ago. Kathleen needs to go. She does not need to be involved in Star Wars anymore. She's made some horrible decisions with the franchise. And frankly, I think the fandom is in such turmoil and fighting with each other. I mean, it's like the High Republic right now. You got the Sith and the Jedi just beating the crap out of you. It's not, no, not even. It's just all the Sith trying to kill each other. We're just all yeah. Sith. It's like, what the hell? So yeah. I think she's got to go. I think someone new needs to step in. And someone who's not like a clone of her. You know, this doesn't need to be episode nine. So yeah. let's just bring someone new with a bit of a fresh, fresh take and perhaps uh, cut up some of her powers a little bit so that she doesn't have as much say as she, or perhaps that position. Uh, so that we leave some things to maybe be vetoed by perhaps a council where Dave Filoni is involved and John Favreau. Um, I know John isn't involved that much with where Star Wars goes, rather just where the stories that are greenlit goes. However, I would, I think it would be beneficial to the franchise if he was. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think that it's, you know, I, I do give Kathy credit for sort of helping Dave on his way as far as, um, you know, getting behind the camera and doing live action stuff. And I, I think there's a direct link between some decisions she made and us getting Ahsoka, right? And so, like, I want to give her credit for that. But I think that she has wildly underutilized the talents of Dave Filoni. I think that's just facts, dude. Especially at a time when the brand seems to have such a lack of uh, identity, right? Like, I don't understand why he isn't leaned into more and leaned into more publicly. Like, he was given this big position in maybe 2019 right we had to find out about it because they accidentally updated the website and we found out he had a new position why is that not being put out by the company like i feel like that's a feel-good move I it was like uh, years later it was put out. yeah dude it would have been sick like that's yeah. that's the thing like that's incredible news and yet they're like kind of hiding it right it's so, well, like, yeah. like they're out of touch 
They need to they need to be more in touch with their fan base and not just a particular sect of their fan base for their politics and whatever. They need to understand who is paying the bills there. And that's all of us. Every single one of us. I don't care what your political beliefs are or anything else. Every single Star Wars fan is a paying customer. And they're talking about your... Even if they've never purchased a Star Wars movie or, or a, a product, if they're talking about it, they are expanding your brand. They are doing free marketing for you. And I don't think that they really... They, they have been rude online to people, to fans. They they pigeonhole certain things. They just only care about their own agenda and who they want to call a fan and who they don't. And I think that that is going to run them into the ground if it hasn't already. And I mm -hmm. think some change needs to take place and they need to be more inclusive. They're always shoving it up our ass about being inclusive, but when it comes to their own fans, they're not. Right. Yeah. So it's no. time that they start doing that. Otherwise, they're going to see a major blowback to the thing that they care about most, which is their pockets. Yeah. And I think that we might be living through the actual back end of that data coming through because like otherwise, why is Disney motivated to get involved? Like if they weren't seeing some kind of bottom line problem, I don't think they come over and just say, hey, that hype machine's broken, right? No, it's got to be dollars and cents, dude. It's got to yeah. be. Well, that, so know, Disney for you. Like yeah, that. exactly. Well, and, that's... And don't get me wrong. I love Disney movies. I love Disney. I love Pixar. You know, I mean, Pixar was bought out. For, it wasn't even Disney to begin with. But the studio executives, the guys that are running Disney, the, the, the dollar sign greedy bastards, I don't like those guys. Yeah, for sure. They've made every single shitty decision possible when it comes to Star Wars, Marvel, or anything else. And they've completely taken the creative control out of the creatives, the ones that are writing the stories, and twisted it into their own weird, delusional story that they think would sell more tickets. And 99% of the time, it doesn't. It ends up failing. Yeah, no, I agree. There's the suits are you know, whack and suits normally make terrible decisions. I guess for me, you know, normally when you have like a studio or whatever, like suits are definitely going to interfere. And obviously some of the worst studios ever have had some of the worst suits. And I see a lot of parallels actually between like what DC has been doing in the past five years and what Star Wars has been doing. Right. And I mean, it is yeah. a lot of just being super out of touch, whether it's I'm offended. And so therefore I'm going to diminish this narrative or like for, like the Dave thing. Right. Like I genuinely believe this and I bet people in the chat believe it, too. I believe the reason they didn't publicly announce Dave's ascension and why they didn't make that a big deal is because they didn't want it to feed into the narrative that Kathy doesn't know what she's doing. But yeah. the idea of them wanting to defend Kathy's sacred honor has made them make even worse decisions and yeah. be even more out of touch with their fan base. It's yeah. like ridiculous, dude, right? I'll, I'll say here, first and foremost, that without Kathleen Kennedy, movies would not be the same today. She has worked on some of the most important movies to me as a kid. Jurassic Park, E.T., Star Wars, even Indiana Jones. So... She definitely is a very talented woman, but when it comes to controlling Star Wars, I think she doesn't know her head from her butt. Yeah. So you need to stick to what you're really good at and what your profession is, but George giving her the reins was a complete and utter mistake, and I'm sure he's kicking himself if he hasn't already right. a long yeah. time ago. There have been so many different uh, excerpts from uh, a lot of different autobiographies of Bob Iger, of Howard Kazanjian uh, regarding different stories that took place with George, with Disney, and uh, Kathleen Kennedy. And there have been many times where George was just pissed off at her for yeah. taking the story and uh, taking his sequel trilogy treatment and never using it and taking the direction of Star Wars in a completely different direction. I mean, I uploaded a short just a few days ago where he even himself, and this is the latest video of him, I think it was about a year ago, where he says... You can just see he's fed up. He's like, look, they've taken it in a completely different direction. Mm. So I can't talk about that. But one to six is my story. And I can talk about that. Mm -hmm. That's with his wife, right? Yeah. When he, yeah, I remember that. No, definitely. I think that, uh, like, look, this is this is where we're at. And I think most fans feel very similarly uh, about Kathy. And I think that it's starting to get to the point where you almost can't deny the issues with Star Wars as a brand. Um, you know, I think it goes on in that Puck article to talk about how Disney is sort of terrified 
of this movie and what this could mean you know what i mean for the brand because like we said last week like you can't hide those numbers like the box office numbers you're naked in front of everybody so whatever the movie they do next you know so that's kind of what it is now we can get in uh to that a little bit if you want if you want to talk about the movie yeah we we we, yeah we talk about everything tonight um first i i gotta say i think they should be worried about star wars right now oh yeah they've already let it get to this and i know they know this i know they know this as for a fact i have people that work at i know people that work at lucasfilm that are telling me that they're they're worried they're like what the hell's going on from the merch sales to the overall views of the shows and the overall audience impact it's not as what it was when the sequels were coming out and the only reason it was high during the sequels is because we weren't finished yet the story that george had started we were still wondering where it was going to go after episode seven things were at their highest when we were getting to episode eight things were just exploding and once episode eight came out came out it changed everything right you had you had episode seven you had rogue one those were all great well episode seven arguably but it just it's taking a complete turn and with andor and don't get me wrong I like Andor a lot. I think it's a really great show. I think it's building really nicely. And especially that last episode was beautiful. I really liked it. I really liked the show. But that being said, it's not hitting big numbers. Right. It is hitting the lowest numbers of any of the Star Wars shows. The overall engagement is complete ass. Yeah. They know this. We know it as fans. I mean, if you don't even want to look at the actual metrics of and or you can look at the metrics of star wars youtubers yeah. you can look at the metrics of google trends for right. star wars it is at, at an all-time low in the last six to seven years yeah all time google trends doesn't lie the overall interest for star wars is just completely yeah it's, down. i mean yeah there's Why? so many data points that support that Why? conclusion it's crazy yeah, it's it's a it's a comedy of errors that have sort of led to this point. Um, and the let's just let's talk about this movie because I'm dying to know what you think about this. Okay. Um, because it's crazy, and I, you know, I, I just want to know. I want to know your thoughts. So, sure. um, okay, let's get into this. Okay, a surprising development. I just want to touch on this. And last week was the firing of Lucasfilm's uh, senior vice president, Michelle Rejwan, who seemed to be the clear successor to Kathleen Kennedy as head of the company. Her overall deal with Disney keeps Rejwan in touch with Lucasfilm as a producer. The movie is a clear, or the move is a clear demotion, reportedly due to her inability to get Star Wars films off the ground. In another unforeseen move, Lucasfilm has softened the blow by landing a director for a far less discussed new film. Deadline reported that Shereem. Obeyed uh, Chinoy, I'm so bad at pronunciation, so I apologize about that, uh, will be directing Damon Lindelof's Star Wars movie for Lucasfilm. So this lady was a director for two episodes of Miss Marvel, okay? Now, Lindelof is said to be penning the project with an unknown co-writer. The script is still in development with the production likely a long time out, but Lucasfilm and Lindelof sought out a director early to incorporate uh, her vision for the film into the story. Now, that was the report that we got on Sunday. Let me just double check something here. See if there's anything else. Um, I also heard, by the way, that... um, Yeah, so that does come from the Ankler, uh, Jeff Snyder's thing. And I also heard that Kevin Feige is not doing his Star Wars anytime soon. So this is kind of what they're looking at. You know, Taika, I think, has tried to distance himself. This is what they're looking at, okay? Weird. Now, this is where it gets ridiculous. Have you seen this Miss Marvel? Was... Yeah, I've seen Miss Marvel, yeah. Was it good? It's like middies, bro. You know, like it starts out strong. It gets real middies. Um, I'd have to see exactly which episode she directed, and maybe they were good, but I mean, I feel Listen, bro, like writing, that's... Yeah, d- whatever. Directing writing two episodes of Miss Marvel isn't going to make me jump for joy. No, and it's absolutely an underwhelming pick so by tell me you, any normal standard. Yeah. yeah. If you tell me you directed The Gladiator, I'll be like, holy shit. Yes. Yeah, really, Scott? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> no. Like, yeah, this is essentially um, 
you could say if you were trying to be super polite and up and comer, I think the reality is a nobody. Sure. You know what I mean? Like that's just what it is. Um, well, but <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry. Like it is. Like if that's oh. the credit the trades are using to talk about you with, you are a nobody. I'm sorry, lady. You know what I mean? I am. But that's a that's the facts. Oh. So let's talk. Once again, you've proved. If you'll excuse me. Damn. I'm sorry, man. It is what Damn. it is. It's show business theory. It's not show friends. You know what I mean? This is what they're doing. So possibly. All right, let's talk about this. This shit's crazy. I think you're gonna explode. Okay. Um, the secret Star Wars movie. Pro and by the way, this dropped mere hours ago, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, so it's fresh. This is fresh. Okay, cool. This and this is the Hollywood Reporter. All right. The secret Star Wars movie project that is being led creatively by Damon Lindelof was thrust into the open Sunday when it was revealed that Charmaine, um, again, I'm so sorry I can't pronounce your name, who directed two episodes of Miss Marvel, again, this Hollywood trade saying who directed two episodes of Miss Marvel, anyway, was on board as a helmer. The project has been in the works for months, and while Lindelof is getting the wookie size share of attention, thanks in no small part to the pedigree that includes co-creating the TV sensation Lost and shepherding the acclaimed HBO series Watchmen, he is by no means the only person involved in the project. In fact, if Lost and Watchmen, as well as The Leftovers, another beloved series Lindelof created, have shown anything, it's that one of the writer's chief talents is picking good collaborators. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Lindelof is writing the new Star Wars movie with Justin Brett Gibson, a young and rising writer who worked as an executive storyteller on Guillermo del Toro's vampire drama, The Strength. I've, actually, I've never seen that, but I love del Toro. Uh, and he wrote episodes of Stars, The Counterpart Parts, a series that deals with the parallel dimension starred J.K. Simmons. Britt Gibson, however, comes to the job after a secret, it's always been a secret Star Wars, isn't it? Writer's Room that began coming together after this year's Star Wars celebration. The room held a two-week session in July, and at the table were Patrick Somerville, who also worked with Lindelof on The Leftovers, uh, went on to create the Buzzy Station 11, a um, bunch of other people, including Obi-Wan writers, somebody that's working on Willow, blah, blah, blah. Obi -Wan writer. Dave Filoni, a protege of Star Wars creator George Lucas, who is involved in many of the shows, has also been present. That's good. Oh, After okay. breaking the story, Lindelof and Britt Gibson have been clacking away at the keyboard. Sources say the movie project is intended as a standalone, but in success could lead to more movies. That plan goes against the grain of earlier Lucasfilm development projects, which saw the company try to catch up with new trilogies. Now the studio seems to focus on standalones. And sources say that the story would take place after the events of 2019 Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Although it would not be a continuation of the Skywalker saga, it could, however, feature some of the characters from the Star Wars trilogies made in the 2010s, a.k.a. the sequel yeah, the trilogy okay that's pretty much it i'm out and i want to know your thoughts i'm out yes yes but give me yes, more let's bring back a star wars movie based on the sequel trilogy based on characters regarding the. so i want to just i want to just like explain i want to take everybody through this okay what is happening right now is that a hollywood trade who's very reliable is giving you actual information about what Disney plans to do with the next star Wars movie. The facts are this. They met after star Wars celebration. What does that tell you that the writer's room began after star Wars celebration? What is that? What is that? Uh, what, what is, how does that make you feel? I don't know. Gears. It it means they didn't plan this until a couple of months ago. So it was must have been a couple of months ago where they were like, oh, shit, we better figure out a movie. Now, maybe this is because Taika is like distancing himself. Maybe it's because they couldn't get one of the other projects that they wanted. Maybe uh, scheduling with Patty is really, really rough. But the reality of the situation is these people were brought in and the writer's room was created after star wars celebration and this could be the next star wars movie that we see in theaters no i don't think that i i, I don't see it like that i just see it like that's when they started i you know. think it's whack you think it's a 
Like they're saving. I think it's whack. They've had they're scrambling. How many years have they had to figure out what the next movie is, bro? <laughs> they lot. took a they took a three year break that is now going to turn into a six year break, dude. You see what I'm saying? And the next movie, they put the writers' room together a couple of months ago, bro. Yeah, it's kind of whack that Marvel has all these movies and shows at the same time, while Star Wars just has a bunch of shows. Bro, it's crazy. Like this is like I, I don't know, man. Maybe like I, I don't want to oversell this, but like mm -hmm. this article is super indicative of where we are at. Do you know what I mean? Like I didn't think of it. It's like, damn, bro. Are you kidding me? The other thing that's crazy is they're going to make it post sequel trilogy and maybe bring back the sequel trilogy characters. Let me uh, start a poll in the chat. Are they scrambling? Let's see what chat says. Damn. I, you know, I... <sighs> Speak on it, man. Yeah, I, well, I just, you know, I often think that, like, hey, like, they have their stuff together, and there's no way that they would be scrambling. They probably had just scheduled a meeting at that time because that's when they dated to start up like god but you know, if there is a lot of scrambling that's just it i will say this i have it's heard and i've talked written. about it on the i mean look we talked about it on some pod last year right they've had plans for more sequel trilogy stuff that's been on the table and it's something they've been developing yeah. so maybe you know if you're being charitable they've had some of these ideas and they're just bringing in Lindelof and they're just bringing in this other guy and, you know, the collaborators in this other writer's room to try to figure this out. But here's the other thing that fucking bugs me, man. What do you mean? It's a one shot that maybe you'll do more of like, I'm not necessarily against them doing one shot movies, but yeah. like, it just feels wrong that the first movie, and if this indeed is after so long waiting, is just going to be a one-off pseudo sequel to the rise of Skywalker. Like that doesn't feel ballsy at all. That doesn't feel like, I don't know. I would almost respect it more if they were like the next trilogy. Do you know what I mean? But they're so unconfident in their ability to do this and capture the audience that they're not even going to make it a trilogy. They're just going to take this approach of like, we're going to put this movie yeah. and let's see how it goes. Like, yeah, dude, okay. everything about this, rings of desperation to me it doesn't seem good at all and i'm actually open to like more sequel stuff but this just feels so no, weird i'm dude. not i'm not i don't like the sequels i know but doesn't this feel like that's in star wars <laughs> dude i know but that's like, like bro isn't that so crazy that that's what they're gonna do that's the plan like this isn't some like baloney <laughs> bullshit thing goes called. If it sells a lot of tickets, we'll do more. But uh, uh, right now, you know, wanna... we're just figuring it out. Dude, it's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Dude, I just, I mean, this is... <sighs> like, this is where we're at, bro. And after all this waiting, we're just going to get, like, what? Yeah, like, on this, Rise on this, of Skywalker, this, this 2 pointer. Character. Like, I don't know. And, like, Lindelof's great. Like, but, I, okay. I like Lindelof, hey, but... Hey, hold on. Yeah. What if it's about Snoke? And Palpatine. You think out of all the secret hey, trilogy characters, hey, those are going to be the hey, ones? Hey, what <sighs> if? What if it's about Kylo and Luke? Hey, yo, yo. So they're going to do a one off yo! about Kylo and Luke, and what they're like, is? let's just see how it goes. Yeah. What I don't if know, it bro. is? What if it's about Kylo and Luke? Bro, here's my problem with this, okay? Why the fuck? No, you're Dave a hater. Filoni. You're a hater yeah, no, now. I am. I am. I'm welcome, chill. welcome to Hater now Josh. Chill. Okay, now well, chill. dude, chill, and I'm gonna hate because check this shit out. Why is Dave Filoni just present in the writer's room? Why isn't he being given either the next movie or the next trilogy? Like, why isn't it Dave Filoni shit? Why is it David Lindelof and some other up and comer with Miss Marvel's fucking episode four and five director how is this happening you've got the protege you've got the guy that studied at the feet of the creator 
I just don't understand. I don't understand, bro. I don't understand yeah. why this is the way that they're choosing to go. Yeah. Because again, I'm open to the sequel trilogy, but from a business perspective, that's the stupidest decision that they could make. Like, it's literally the stupidest thing they could do. Like, wh what is going on over there, bro? Yeah. What is going on? But hey, maybe it is Kylo and Luke. If it's Kylo and Luke, should we have a bet? About 100 what? 100 bucks? Yeah, but well, what's the bet, though? That when this news comes out in a couple of years, it's either about Kylo and Luke or about some, or it's about goddamn like Finn and Rose. So if it's not about Luke and Kylo, I owe you a hundred bucks. If it is about Luke yeah. and Kylo, you owe me a hundred bucks. Okay, I'll take that bet because and I don't think they're going to do that. Now, Kylo, maybe, but Luke, no way. And her eyebrows. No, I'm not going to shave my eyebrows. No way. Shave your eyebrows in your head. I did actually make a bet today, though, for shaving my head. Now you do one of those every week, and then you just bitch out. No, what are you talking about? I've done three in the history of time. And uh, this one is if Zack Snyder actually comes back and directs something DC, I'll shave my head. Two. Huh? Man of Steel 2. He, he, he's not coming back, bro. Okay, so if Zack Snyder comes back to do a DC movie, to do a DC movie, any DC movie or Superman? Any DC movie. You shave your dome. I'll shave the dome. I'll do it live. Okay. Hmm. No shit ain't happening. Sorry, guys. Okay. But why, why um, they work with him anymore. Didn't he make them a lot of money? Uh, dude, that's a whole thing, man. I mean, we could go down that rabbit hole, but essentially, I don't know why. I mean, they hate him, dude. Like there was a there was an article that came why? out, bro, because of the Snyder cut, because of the Snyder fans didn't it, didn't it make them money? It didn't make them the money that they wanted, but that's probably their fault. All honestly, yeah, um, because that movie I think was a huge hit. But uh, yeah, they screwed that all up. The whole time when he was even making the Snyder Cut, they were still hounding him. They made him take a bunch of stuff out. He had to go shoot stuff in his driveway to get it into the film. It's crazy, dude. Like Warner Brothers and Zack Snyder have been at war for like a decade now. That doesn't make sense. It's the stupidest thing that they could do, but that's what happened. And at this point, like people are so butthurt about it that, uh, you know, they never want him back. And I don't blame him for not wanting to be a part of it. He's going to go make his Star Wars. Dude, I think he made some great Superman movies. And I think if they ever want to make another Superman movie with Henry Cavill, it would be a mistake not to hire Zack Snyder. You want to hear something really crazy? Heck, Henry if they Cavill. make any DC movie without Zack Snyder, it would be a mistake. I agree with you. But here's the thing. I bet Henry Cavill would lobby to not bring Zack Snyder back. Why? He doesn't like his vision for the character. He was the, one of the only people that what? didn't... 100% dude. It's documented. He doesn't like it. He likes the Boy Scout. He wanted... he Henry Cavill was one of the only people in 2017 that wanted Joss Whedon to come do that movie. Who's Joss Whedon? The guy that did the the theatrical cut of you don't know about the Snyder cut. You're not up on the lore, bro. Dude, I'm no, I you're not up on the Snyder cut lore. Ask me about Star Wars. Ask me about Dragon Ball. Ask me about Cobra yeah. Kai. You know, basically, you know, basically, Joss Whedon director came in after Zach left the project and basically screwed up Zach's entire movie and made it absolute shit. Um, but made Superman more positive in the movie. In Man of Steel? No, in the Justice League, in the theatrical cut of Justice League. Henry Cavill was one of the only people that wasn't vocally supportive oh. of uh, oh. the restore of the Snyder Cut. So the Snyder Cut is Snyder's version without Joss Whedon. Yes. Being Correct. Yeah. Mm. Correct. Oh. Yeah. 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 So Zach uh, mm. basically was working on it. Um, he had a family tragedy. He had to step away. There's a little bit of like weirdness even around that situation where I kind of feel as though he was forced out. Um, but regardless of all that, Joss Whedon comes in, butchers his movie, makes it absolute shit. Um, and then that's why the Snyder fans were like, nah, dude, restore the Snyder cut. Restore what Zach wanted. And then that's what we get with the Snyder cut. How did the fans um, know? How did Snyder fans know that he didn't, uh, that that wasn't his vision? Zach is a very specific style and he had already done two big dc eu movies before that and it's just worlds different it's it's a it's a totally different style it's a hack job as far as editing it's 
super sloppy. It has ridiculous comedy bits that oh, are dude, very yeah. Marvel esque that Joss would have put in there. Horrible. Um, yeah, and Zach's on record yeah. talking about some of that stuff. Uh, because Zach's actually to this day never watched the Joss Whedon cut, which is hilarious and awesome. Really? Yeah, but people have told him about certain things. Uh, and he always has a really funny remark about some of the things when people ask him. So, yeah, that's a whole thing, though, man. That's like a whole lore. Uh, you know, that's like 40K, dude. Getting into that lore. Wild. It is. It wild. is wild. Yeah. So I guess the question is, Theory. Will Star Wars, if they release this movie, go the way of the Dodo? The dodo being extinct. <laughs> no, because I'll still be around. There you go. Uh, oh, he's yo. so lucky. Now he's let's so talk. Arrogant. Let's talk about one more thing, and this one's actually positive. Um, and this has to do with the rumor of an Ezra Bridger spinoff show. Shall we? Okay. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Now, the thing that's wild about this is, like, it's super awesome. It makes me feel warm inside, and it's likely a lot to do with Dave Filoni. I, again, do not understand why they don't just lean on him more. Um, yeah, but this is a rumor that, similar to what's going to be going on with the Ahsoka series, you will get a spinoff with Ezra Bridger, just like Ahsoka. And this is a pretty reliable dude. He does stress that it's a uh, rumor, but this also lines up with back in the day, there was a rumor that there was going to be a Thrawn Ezra show. I don't know if you remember this, but there was a big rumor that you're going to get a Thrawn Ezra show. Um, and it looks like this, that old rumor may be what this is now. Um, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty awesome, man. I'm legitimately excited for this, especially if it's, Helmed by Dave, which I imagine it would be because Probably. Dave's pretty protective of his toys. You know what I mean? Probably. Yeah. Well, if he's protective of his, his toys, he should be handling all of Star Wars. Yeah, I think he... Let's be real. Dave Filoni yeah. is the heir to Lucasfilm. Is the heir to George Lucas's throne. Yep. No one else. I agree. Not Kathleen agree. Kennedy, not Bob Iger. Nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nobody. So it's not a uh, you know extensive. There's not a ton to get into about it. I, I'm kind of curious is like, would this work alongside an Ahsoka season two? Is Ahsoka going to be one, and then this is the next chapter of that? I'm not really sure. <laughs> um, but either way, man, like in a world of like boo, like this is a yay, and uh, I'm just I'm just so frustrated with where they're at, the decisions that they're making, and it seems like Disney is frustrated with them as well. Um, and it's possible maybe we're at a turning point because I just I'm curious as to what the response will be about this sequel trilogy news. And uh, again, this is the Hollywood Reporter. This is breaking today. A lot of people are going to be talking about this. So we'll just see. We'll see how the fans react. And um Like of all the movies, you guys are going to unless it's about Kylo and Luke, then all right, cool. But even then, they're probably just going to make him like a little like they did in the last jedi i just think it's a weird choice bro like why not like <laughs> why not do literally anything else like you know literally, what i mean literally. like literally anything else why don't i you think go high be, republic uh, yeah dude high republic why don't you go be old republic why don't you go republic. A, something about yoda why don't you make a movie about grogu in the time when he was alive like when you he was get somebody jedi? else on rogue squadron you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what's the deal with that? Like, why does that project have to die because you can't work it out with Patty Jenkins? Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, bro. It just feels like we're we're at this tail end of like this complete brand erosion. It's so weird, dude. I I legitimately never thought we'd be here. You know? No. And I no. It's it's I ridiculous, dude. It's so. Yeah, that's where we're at. But. Well, we also have Tales of the Jedi tomorrow. Tales of the Jedi tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so everyone. Tales of the Jedi. We're going to be doing a watch party. We'll do Andor afterwards, possibly, or do we'll do Andor another day. Or I'll just have the breakdown for Andor for you, ready to go. But the watch party will be for Tales of the Jedi. Sick. So, 
It's a good choice. I am more excited for that than any of the Star Wars projects coming out. Even more than Mando. Really? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Um, I put those probably on equal footing. I'm very yeah. excited for Tales, though. Like, very. Yeah. Um, so I'll be checking it out for sure. I did watch episode seven um, of Andor. Much better. I still, there's just so much that I hate about the show. But, um, you know, the mentioning of Palpatine was cool. You know, everything you were yeah, <laughs> everything I was talking Ooh. about. They did. They filled in some gaps. Uh, and in that regard, I thought it was really cool. Um, there's still just a lot of stuff that I'm like, this ain't Star Wars, but uh, a fine show that I, I know a lot of people like. And uh, that episode was cool. It was better than probably all the other episodes I've seen. To be what honest. did you not like about it? Oh, man, just the the way they dig into the specific characters in a way that feels more like. Um, I don't know. It just feels more like a totally different kind of movie than like Star sure. Wars. Right. Like, I just I generally don't give a shit about. That one officer, his grandma, the micro, oh, whatever of girl. his, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Like, and talking about his collar and shit. Um, there was a moment where Andor was talking to that old lady back on that planet, and they do this like weird flashback thing when she's talking about seeing a dude hung in the square, and this like, I just, bro, dude, what? there's so much about the show. I bro. hate it. I hate it. Bro, it's not Star Wars. It's not that Star was Wars. his dad. Bro, it doesn't matter who it is. Oh, it's the way dad. that it's framed. I'm like, dude, this is garbage. It's not It's not garbage. I shouldn't say it's garbage because it's not. It's cool. It's effective. But it's like, that's like fucking, uh, like, it, it feels very much like Michael Clayton. It feels very much like, um, uh, you know, the Born stuff. It's, it's like you're really digging in with these people. But that's all the depth that is there. There's no theme. I don't feel a thematic pull. I'm, I'm not on an adventure. I'm learning about uh people's stupid idiosyncrasies and their own personal traumas within the galaxy i don't care like that's what it is i just don't so i, think, I mean it's it's cool but it's like so far away from what i think star wars should be um i i, I continue to feel I, that way i like about the show is that it's because it's the start of the rebellion it's going over just everyday people's experiences with the empire and now they're like fuck these guys now let's get them so like with Marva, for example, she's talking about how she used to always bypass uh, that part of the square where her husband was hanged by mm -hmm. the Empire. And now after this act of rebellion where they stole all these credits, she now for the first time in like 13 years has the confidence to walk right through it. Sure. So you can see now the shift that this one little act is causing. And I I, I was like, fuck, cool. I'm no, no, it. dude. I get it. And I think that um, there's sort of a, a fun thing in that where you can like build up these little um, really earned heroic character driven kind of uh, uh, like progressions or whatever. Right. So I get yeah, it. Yeah. And I understand that it's effective, like the way it's done in the show. It's just to yeah. me, it's like that's not Star Wars, dude. Like Star Wars would be that as a passing line of a hero as you're on to the next thing that's big and grand and whatever they're doing and it's good versus evil it's not like like let's focus in over here and let's really get to know all these different little characters that make up this thing like i feel if, to me it feels a little bit more like playing the sims or something or like a weird type of game where like there's all this intricacy to it and i just generally not only do i not care i just don't think that's the design that tells like the more mythic side of star wars you know what i mean like luke skywalker is not just some dude <laughs> that's the whole thing like <laughs> he's the son of anakin skywalker you know the yeah. last hope of the galaxy like he's not some dude on an assembly line that happens to get brave against the empire sometime like but i think that's kind of the, the dopeness of it because it's like anybody can can rebel it's like they, they don't need the force for this no, it's just like an uprising against the bad guys, an uprising against this monarch, this freaking mm -hmm. authoritative regime that Palpatine's holding against everyone. Sure. So for me, I'm like, this show isn't about the Force, so I accept that. It isn't about the Jedi, I accept that, or the Sith. It's just about everyday people rising up and breaking out of this um, oppression that mm -hmm. Palpatine yeah. has held over them. And it covers yeah. different characters and their stories. It's kind of like a uh, Detroit Become Human vibe. It's kind of yeah. like... Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, almost like a Lord of the Rings vibe where like everyone has their own path that they're taking and eventually in the end they'll all all their mm -hmm. actions will will converge. So I'm digging it. I, I fuck. 
I'm 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 feeling it. No, I mean, I think there's a good bit of people that are feeling it, and I do think that the show has gotten better, right? And so that people are like really appreciating like where it's going. I just hate it, <laughs> just just unabashedly hate it. Fair enough. Um, yeah. But no, it's cool, man. I'm glad. I'm glad people enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, of course, it's not like I'm watching something from the prequels, but yeah, for what it is, I'm I'm enjoying. It. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, I feel like more. it's like this. You walk into an arcade, okay? Yeah. And they've got this arcade game over here that's like lightsabers and, you know, crazy stuff like that. And then, like, over here, you've got, like, a spaceship game or something like that, right? And then, like, weirdly next to it is a game that's all reading and reciting, like, the fucking, like, weird choices, like a choose-your-own-adventure shit. And it's just like, now, granted, that could be cool, but I'm going to go play the spaceship game. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go Dungeons play the lightsaber game. That's like D&D. &D. Yeah, but you know what I mean. It just feels like the lamest game in the arcade. That's what it feels like. All right, me. fair enough, man. Oh, like, but... yeah, if you're not. there's a lot of people that aren't feeling it. In the beginning, I wasn't feeling it. But after this last episode, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm on board. Because I'm yeah. accepting it for what it is within the confines sure. of what. I'm not, like, expecting Vader to show up and be like, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, and that's probably like kind of the opposite of me, right? Because I've I've already accepted what it is and rejected it. <laughs> so it's like, you know what I mean? Like it's similar. For me, it's like solo where like I'm not expecting much. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I'm like, whatever. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, I get you. I get you. The K2SO droids were cool. All right. Well, let's cover some all you guys' super chats. We're gonna start reading them now. So let them chime in. If yeah, I want to know what it. you guys think about all this. Yeah, what does everyone else think about Andor? Um, 87% of you say Lucasfilm is scrambling, or Disney mm -hmm. is scrambling, out of 2,500 votes. Okay, let me uh, scroll up to the top here. It's going to take me a minute. Scroll it up! Because you guys chat so much. Scroll it on up! Shout out to everyone on the Spotify. If you guys go over there, there's a new episode every single day. Star Wars Theory. Go cheek it out. Yeah, I'm still scrolling. It's going to take a while. Josh, you want to sing a song? Um, never mind. We're at the top. To... Oh. No, nope, never mind. Alive. We're not. You can sing. Okay. Nope, we're at the top. Never mind. Damn. Never mind. I still got to think about what I would even sing. <clears throat> Josh, what do you enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> um, we just I enjoy. I enjoy that uh, I don't think missing most of it is going to affect me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, What's up, boys? Theory, I tagged you on IG. Just got my third Order 66 hats and two pins. The pick is very Revenge of the Sith. You'll see, Josh, that Ant-Man trailer was sick. Kang, baby. It was, thank you, Star Wars Sith. Uh, this is the pink one, by the way, guys. 50% of the profits will go towards breast cancer charity. And you have until the end of October to grab one. After that, they're going to be gone. I actually really like this color. You can see. I think it looks really clean. It does. Yeah. It's different. It looks good. Yeah. yeah. It's good. And yes, Kang looked very cool. Real cool. Tag me on IG. Hey. Oh, damn. Posting you on my story right now. Thanks, man. That's awesome. Check that out. Nice. Good. He's got some prequel drop ships in the back. The Grievous yeah, toy. Oh, yeah, very sure. Revenge of the Sith. That's yeah, cool. that's cool, man. Yeah, that that's blue and red one sold like crazy. Did it? You guys absolutely demolished that one. But I think the one that sells the most is the uh, the purple. Mm. And a ton of you bought the orange one too. So thanks for that. I hope you enjoy the orange one. It's a October special. Nice. All right. We're gonna have those blacked out flex fit ones for you guys for Black Friday. Getting those in soon. If Ezra does appear in Ahsoka, do you think they'll give him a hallway scene like Vader, Luke, and Maul? Star Wars needs new leadership. Yeah, I agree with the leadership thing. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of weirdly I'm just so unsure of what they're gonna do with Ezra. I, I hope he's not like the MacGuffin the whole time. Um, but I hope he gets a hallway scene. That'd be sick. Yo, Love bro. you guys, man. Josh, you don't say that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> A super sticker. 
What's up, boys? How y'all doing? I just started Thrawn 2017, but I was wondering if I should read the Ascendancy trilogy first. Uh, also, what are y'all uh, you all all F, F with Transformers? Transformers. Blinker time. Uh, I used to love the Transformers. I had a bunch of them. I liked Beast Wars a lot. Uh, the old movie with... Um, what was the big planet, dude, that like ate all of them? Oh. Galvatron, maybe, or G Gav something like that. Yeah, I fuck with the Transformers, bro. Um, and Ascendancy was dope. I, I don't know. Or which one's the first one, the one he's talking about, or Ascendancy? I don't know. I'm not that great with Thrawn. The whatever the first trilogy was they did with Thrawn, I thought was absolutely incredible. But I have not. You don't mean Heir to the Empire, right? No, no, no. Although those are awesome too. But the no, stuff. the like that all white book that just was called oh, Thrawn I think or that whatever. Was, yeah, that was, hold on, let me see. Yeah, that book was. Oh, and then the one with uh, where that's Anakin and where it's Vader and Thrawn and Thrawn and Anakin, and they oh. keep going back and forth between that. That book is, yeah, that one was cool. I did like that one, yeah, I like that one a lot. Back and forth in time, um, Unicron, I think that's what it was, Unicron. No, the galaxy, the big planet, dude. Um, there's <clears throat> Thrawn, Thrawn alliances, Thrawn treason. Yeah, all three of those are incredible. Then chaos rising, greater good, ascendancy. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I can't comment on this. I can't Tron. comment on it. Tron, uh, do you think Vader will show up? Now that they changed Andor with being force sensitive, is that what the change the Empire gave him upon arrest? What? No, that's not the that's not what they charge him with. They never gave him that charge. Yeah, they charge him basically with sedition. He's just speaking out against the Empire, and they get yeah, him they six never, years. I didn't remember them ever saying force sensitive. Definitely don't. Mitchell says, without the mysticism aspect in Andor, it almost feels like a knockoff Star Trek with some cameos and name drops here or there. Not a bad show, but it doesn't entirely feel like Star Wars to me. Yeah, that's pretty much how I feel. I maybe would say it a little harshly, but yeah. Thanks, Mitchell. Hey, guys. Hope you're all good. Theory, glad to see Sabres are coming in well as we need what is coming. All we need now is a Theory Saber versus OH Sabres duel against Josh. <laughs> OH Sabres is dope. Palpa Memes says, bring back Ray Skywalker and make Finn a Jedi. I mean, you may get your wish. You may just get your wish. Yeah, maybe. She's on thin ice. It's only a matter of time. We need a new leadership. We do. Yeah. Yeah. We do. I mean, you can just bring Dave in. I mean, like, we don't even need new leadership. But he can't. I don't think he's the right guy for the leader job. Because then, like, I don't know if he'll be able to actually make the shit. Do you know what I mean? If he's running business day to day and stuff like that. What if Palpatine kept the Senate through episode six? Um, that wouldn't have been good. They'd just be real there'd whiny. Be no need. Yeah, there'd be no need because he just did what he wanted once he had the Death Star. He's like, I don't need you guys. You don't like what I say? I blow up your planet. Right, yeah. What up, boys? And what's up, chat? Happy Monday, says Alex. Happy Monday, Alex. Thanks for dropping in. Everything Dragon Disney will package. a whole new different Star Wars timeline entirely, completely separate from the Skywalkers. Yeah. But that's kind of what Visions is, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Jens with a very generous $50 says package with Belgian beer and personalized glasses on the way to you guys should get it next week. Sick. Cool. Jens. Thanks. Appreciate that. In relation to your video the other day, Palpatine wanted bigger numbers, but he told Vader that once the death star was fully operational, the empire wouldn't matter and he would get rid of it. Yeah, but we all know that was a lie. Lies and deceit. Lies. It's the way of the Sith. He lied to all of you. <laughs> Mark uh, Hamill donated 500 war drones to Ukraine. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, what's that about? Like, did he have 500 drones or did he just pay for them or something? I'm not sure. I didn't hear about this. Yeah, I was like confused by that story. 
Rank these Bad Batch, Book of Boba Fett, Kenobi, Andor. Um, mm. That's damn. tough. That's a tough In terms of what I enjoy the most, um, I'm going to tell you Kenobi's going to be last. Yeah, definitely. Sadly, uh, and you guys know how much of a prequel shill I am. Um, I'd probably say Bad Batch. Mm. Oh, shit. I mean, Andor's not done yet, but man, True. Bad Batch, Andor, Book of Boba Fett, Kenobi. No, Bad Batch, Andor. Oh, God. I'd go Book There's of like... Boba Fett first just because the Mando episodes. That Luke episode was dope. Bad, uh, Bad Batch 2, Andor 3, Kenobi 4th. That's what I would do. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing. It's like there's those really good episodes in Vader 2 or, or in Kenobi 2, but it's like, am I going to choose that? I think there's one the good one. Show? Kenobi. And to be honest with you, it still has a goobly glob in it. I know. Like, like those, Mando, not... those Mando episodes in Boba are totally on point. Dude. It's not even Boba Fett. No, it's not. Okay, fine. Okay, Book of Boba Fett, Kenobi... No, I can't choose. I can't. They betrayed. They destroyed it. Book of Boba, F Ugh, Book of Boba Fett, Bad Batch, and or Kenobi. Oh, yeah. But that is an interesting list because is that not the last four Damn, projects that's a, they've done? That's difficult. That's difficult, bro. Go on. Thanks for the two bucks, man. This seems more like a leak and not a rumor to push KK out. Disney isn't happy with how Lucasfilm is being run. More like a leak and not a rumor. I mean, interesting. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, I do wonder if maybe somebody within Lucasfilm is putting this out there to try to help push that along. I think that's possible. It's possible. Greetings from Costa Rica. Keep up the Star Wars dis or keep the Star Wars discussions going. Ignore Twitter theory. We love you down here. I hope your dog is doing well too. Oh, bro, I don't. I deleted Twitter like in August, so I don't even know what's going on over there. You have chosen wisely. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. I deleted TikTok. You deleted Twitter. You deleted We're TikTok? Just... Yeah, bro. Yeah. No, thank you, TikTok. TikTok's so entertaining. Yeah, I know people like it. I'm, I, I mean, it's just not for me. Uh, if anything, I'll do short form on YouTube shorts on like a clips channel or Dude, something. I told you I've been starting the shorts. I'm just taking mm -hmm. clips of old videos. Yep. My God. Shorts is wild. They're great. Shorts I mean, you don't wild. make any money on them, but it's great. Yeah, they get more people out, like they reach more people, and it's yeah. awesome. Love it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm thinking about doing a lot of the clips from my live streams in uh, like shorts format and pushing those out on the clips channel. Because I mean, they're they're definitely pushing it, and I think they just changed it so that it will be AdSense and it's not going to be uh, in January like a creator fund. Oh, it comes in January, supposedly. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that'd be good. This is where the fun begins, right on, Rusty. Right on. This is where the fun begins. Han said it first. Hope the KK, what the fuck, uh, silencing rumor is true. Suggestion for your clips channel. They often release videos all at once, but they should be scheduled, release them the day to hit algorithm better. Are they even still, I thought we like fired all the people there. Hold on. Dude, they um, they uploaded an old video about the ricotta, and they mm -hmm. misspelled the was it ricotta or were they? No, it was about the use on Vong, and they misspelled use on Vong, and I'm like, no, get rid of all of them. <laughs> yeah, no, there have. Okay, actually, chat. This is a good opportunity. If anyone is looking for a job, and you would like to take clips of my videos. Um, how it works is I will get you in touch with my network and they just like handle any like back end stuff that I need them to do. And um, they'll be the ones that will be paying you, not me, from what the channel makes, which isn't really a lot right now, but the potential is huge. So if anyone needs a job, I mean, just uh, should we do this? I don't want my email flooded. So. Yeah, I haven't really thought this through. <laughs> Instagram I don't know. DMs. Just, um, you can at least go through it yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Instagram DM. Just go on Instagram. DM me, and uh, hopefully you uh, know how to edit stuff, edit clips. And you got to be a Star Wars fan because you got to know like what you're, you know, what you're clipping. 
Yeah. But didn't Disney, Disney take the mysticism out of Star Wars? I feel like they'll never make anything like the Mortis arc or anything about the Force itself. Yeah. I mean, D, yeah, it's tough. I, it does, D, is David Lindelof, like, is he going to make something about the Force? I don't know, bro. Bro, it's kind of, it, I don't know. We're going to be about, like, Rose. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Jesus. <clears throat> What the hell? Why does he look high? Oh, no, that's just Yoda, bro. Everyone on Spotify right now, we're looking at a uh, super chat from Darth Shibby, and it's a it's a literal doll of Yoba, y- Yoda. And he's in like a hoodie or something. He's in like a like a hoodie. Like his a khaki eyes hoodie, and his eyes are over. bloodshot as hell. Mm-hmm. Would love to see Andor hear Ezra's message he sends out at... At the end of Rebels season one, I know no fan service, but it would make a lot of sense and adds up. Sure. Yes. I wouldn't oppose. I would definitely not oppose. Lucas says, I hate to say it, but it's too little, too late. They're trying to stop the bleeding of money, but they are a few years too late. She needs to go. Yeah, I think she does need to go. I think maybe after Indiana Jones 5, they will kind of allow her to just retire respectfully. The move to get rid of Rejuan is really interesting. As that article pointed out earlier, she was the clear successor. Like it seemed like that's the way they were going to go. So it's almost like this is a preemptive ending of uh, like the way Kathy would prefer the baton to be passed. And that's incredibly interesting. I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I have no idea who or <laughs> I heard the craziest rumor too, chat. Like what if Walter Hamada and if you're a DC fan, <laughs> like Walter Hamada is essentially KK in some ways, you know, and uh, what if Walter Hamada, you know, goes over and takes over Lucasfilm? I, I don't know, but I think Lucas has a point. It's a little bit too late and they're sort of now, like forced to catch up with sort of like the accumulation of all these different things they've done wrong. You know what I mean? Like we are really, truly in such a uniquely bad spot for Star Wars as a brand. I think that um, whether she, you know, whether the next person in is great or not, I think her leaving will be something that's celebrated by a lot of fans. And I guess we, you know, I guess we wonder then, like, what is that? Does that turn into anything? Because there's the opportunity that if she steps away, that maybe we get something new or we have this idea of new. But what concerns me a little bit is like, if you looked at what John said, John Favreau said at Star Wars Celebration, you know, he made it, he wanted to really emphasize how much he loved Kathy Kennedy and how much they all loved Kathy Kennedy. And so it seems like, I mean, I just feel like that's a bad move. Like if they want to try to fight against the celebrating, of, you know what I mean? Like I just, I don't know. It just feels weird. Skipping over that super chat, please. Stop calling me mommy. <laughs> What's up, guys? Can I get a happy B-Day for my cousin Andy? B-Day was yesterday. Yo, happy belated, Andy. Andy, happy birthday. Have a great time with uh, Woody and Buzz. Yeah, indeed. Ryan. Says, what's up, fellas? Hope you two had a good weekend. Question, what is your favorite movie soundtrack of all time? Aside from Star Wars, uh, it's a great one. Uh, One of my top favorites is Tron Legacy, executively produced by Daft Punk. I mean, that's a good one. I'd say like the original Matrix is Liddy. Kill Bill has an incredible soundtrack. Uh, You know who does soundtrack really good is the Guy Ritchie shit. I mean, Gladiator's iconic. Dude, I love the Man of Steel soundtrack, dude. You know, that oh Hans Zimmer, yes. Han Zimmer shit is so good. Um, mm. Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter's great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Back to the Future. Um, Close dun, Encounters. Dun, 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 it's crazy. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, it's iconic. So a lot of good, a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah. Yeah, I used to listen to the Tron Legacy soundtrack. Dude, it's fire. Since the movie came out. I used to watch it, that movie and go to sleep every night. This I is brilliant. Last night went to sleep. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah. How do they not make more of those? I don't know, bro. 
Apparently they are. They're making a Tron too. What? I haven't heard about that. Yeah. Uh, John says I should be above this making me happy, but it does. No, you, it just means you want good Star Wars. Yeah. Fan Expo San in San Francisco with Star Wars, Cobra Kai, Sons of Anarchy, and many more casts. November 25th to the 27th. Anyone going? Also, Hot D, 1 million out of 10. Yeah, Hot Ds were good. We won't make it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to. I'm probably not going to do anything until next year. Thoughts on Filoni taking Kathleen's spot? I just, I don't. You know what? Uh, I changed I my mind. So. Leave Filoni to make. <laughs> Coloni. Leave Filoni to make his movies and shows, and let's hire <laughs> someone else to take the position, but someone who's not. Uh, some first, some someone who doesn't hate men. Also, someone who wants to see better Star Wars movies and thinks of things uh, a little more methodically would be nice. I agree. Josh Randor. Obi-Wan movie would have made one Billy. You could have used Disney Plus to flesh out the Reva story for episode miniseries before the movie's release. Instead, we got Toby. Oh. <laughs> Toby? Yeah. Yeah, man. Toby. <laughs> Obi <laughs> Toby won. Disney has the rights to make a DBZ movie if they're going to make something. Me, what? No, they don't. Yeah, I think that's a rumor. I don't think they have that. They do have licensing for some anime stuff now, um, but it seems like they're kind of just releasing anime, you know. So I don't know. But yeah, uh, Danny has chimed in on this before too. I think that technically is a possibility. There's no way that no, no. Don't take don't take Dragon Ball. They're not taking Dragon Ball. No, shut up. No, they're not. No, they're Kathy's not. Kathy's going to retire from Star Wars and start the Dragon Ball. Division. No, they're not, dude. Yes! Shit's Bro, gonna be sick. Vegeta is the most toxic male known to Disney. Yeah. Okay? Like, they would not, they'd probably like freaking change his whole storyline and character arc. Yeah, well, I mean, so did Super, right? Not my Bulma! <laughs> you know? No, that's fine. I didn't mind that. I think he gets developed. He got soft. He got soft. Yeah, he gets a little soft. He gets a little soft for sure. And then, like, if well, I don't want to give away the manga stuff, you're not. I've already read it. All right, finished. I'm done. Oh, really? So what I was going to say is in the moment where he's, like, learning about Ultra Instinct, right? But then he has that moment where he wants to give the power to um, Granola. Yeah, what the? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a lot of people are like, "Uh, I don't know if he would, you know. But I think it's meant to show that. He doesn't want to go full destroyer. You know what I mean? Like that was an act that he was like sort of working himself up. Um, but he's not that Vegeta anymore. You know what I mean? So it's oh, interesting. I, I just took that as like he's not he hasn't perfected it yet. But he will. I mean, it could be, yeah. He fucking will. <laughs> I hope so. I sure Got it my hope Dragon so. Ball channel, Dragon Ball Theory. Wasn't Kevin Feige supposed to get a movie and Kathy got so scared of the praise he was going to get so he she somewhat canceled it? I, I think that. that's part of the story. It's also part of the story that Marvel's kind of messing up too. So Feige needs to write that ship. Like I think that when he signed up to do the Star Wars movie, Marvel was in its prime. And now yeah. things are not as good. So he needs to step more into shit. And so I think he needs to fix Marvel a little bit. So Zach's a spoiling ass MF, bro. You you knew we were gonna talk about Dragon Ball Super. I we literally mentioned it, so you could have clicked off. Oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> Brady Wells says I bought a new screen accurate Michael Myers mask based on the Halloween two design. It cost three hundred. It took me almost a year to make, but nice. it was worth it. Dang, dude, that's a lot of love. Sick. Look up, Look up the Peter principle. Describes this perfectly. That seems like bait. If you're in Josh, I wonder what it would take for Disney to change on how they do things in order to fix Star Wars instead of letting it fail. Um, I don't think they would ever do that. I don't think. Oh, just... that's really interesting. So, yeah, I've heard about this in the military. So it's essentially that you will automatically, like in these sort of hierarchical uh, places where you get promotions, you're eventually going to get a promotion that you don't deserve and you'll get stuck in a position that you're inept at. 
you should have just stuck at the position you had before, but because you were so good at it, you get promoted. And so you're just going to kind of continuously get promoted until you find yourself in a position that you suck at. And that happens a lot in the military too. What kind of candy are you guys getting for trick or treaters? Probably like some Snickabaz, Twix, stuff like that. Um, protein bars. What? You're going to be the lame ass house, bro. Bro, I'm going to be the, the house that when they come back next year, they're all going to be jacked as shit. <laughs> Doubt it. They're just going to be mad at your lame ass candy, yeah. bro. Yeah. Well, whatever. <laughs> Elijah. All hail Josh uh, and House Lucas. First of first his name, his name. Unshilled. unshilled. King of the Supers. Sultan of the Snappers. The Caesar of Swole. Kroll of the Great Tower. Lord of the Seven Fandoms and Protector of the Den. Yeah, he's, he says this. He did a nice one for Elisa, too, on her birthday. Thank you, Elijah. Nice, Elijah. Yeah, I'll take it. Where the Put fuck on the fuck is mine? <laughs> hey, oh. there you go. Sorry. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Apologies. All hail Darth Tus of the Sith, first of his name, the Uncancelable, the Kaiser of Content, Grandmaster of Gains, Pharaoh of Films, <laughs> Cancer's Pain, the Emperor of All Theory. Hey, why is Josh's like twice? Okay, it was not. All right. Oh, no, it's about said one same. extra line. Yeah. I'll let it slide for now. <laughs> Yo. I'll let it slide for now. Well done, Elijah. So you all think of the Bad Batch season two, we will finally see Clone Force 99 run a train. What, dude? <laughs> Yo, your reaction was pretty wild, bro. Yeah, because I'm like thinking, I'm like, okay, what's Clone Force 99? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then what? Yeah, dude, that's wild. On Sid? I mean, Sid's a babe, you know? Damn, 50 spot. It feels like the biggest issue these days is these directors want their take, their spin on Star Wars. They have zero interest in George's canon. They all seem to either hate Star Wars, the fans, or want to change it just because they know better Whoa. than George. Yeah, I do think there's a lot of that, man. And I mean, like a part of that's just Hollywood. Like a, a thing you do in Hollywood is like make your stamp, right? And like you differentiate yourself. Like a lot of people do this. So I understand it. I just think that Star Wars deserves special care. Like it needs, you need to like not do that. Cause that's definitely what Ryan did. <clears throat> Thanks Sin City Sith. That's a big dono. Hmm. Expo City says, I want to see a force user who isn't evil, but not afraid to go full dark side on his enemies and is an ally of the Jedi like Black Adam, but Star Wars. Yeah, that'd be sick. And also, you got to say it like this. Expo City. No. <laughs> Not for $5. Fair enough. Just I just like that name. Expo City. XA says, who's worse, KK or Alex Jones? Whew, that's close. I'd Green love to get into that, bro. They should get a podcast together. They'd be great together. That'd be incredible, yeah. You're, you're acting like a baby. Have an open mind for real. I don't know well, what that is referencing. to. What in, yeah, what in particular. Yeah, you got to be a little more clear with your uh, uh, harsh criticisms. What's Darian love? Trailer says, much love, Theory and Josh. I love, wait, I lost a loved one last love. night, and you guys are keeping my mind occupied for the moment. Much love to this community for all the countless hours of entertainment and interactions I've had. Damn. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, man, that's a tough one. That is a tough one, and uh community's here for you, for yeah, sure. Glad you're here and glad you're hanging out with us. Get some hearts in the chat. Winger says, first soupy. Uh, been with you from elementary, now 10th grade. Thank you for all that you do. Your vids provide an escape from reality, and I love binging your vids. Much love to you, uh, to both of you, and we'll always be in your chat. That's very nice. Thanks, Winger. We'll always be here for you. True. Oh, look at all the hearts in chat. Nice, dude. Anthony Governale says, overall, KK is a train wreck. Running Star Wars into the ground. No conspiracy with how she manages. No consistency with how she manages. Either too much influence or none at all, paired with terrible hiring for projects. Couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. How many years until um, the brass recognizes that? Joshua says, the fans won't like whatever they make, so what's the point? 
Uh, no, I disagree with that. I think the fans liked Jedi Fallen Order. I think they liked Mando. Uh, Mando, Rogue One. Uh, Certain episodes like of Vision seem to be more um, liked than others. Clone Wars. Clone Wars. Bad Batch. Mm-hmm. Tales of the Jedi. I'm going to assume. I'm going to go on. Yeah. And say they, they yeah, like well, yeah. Um, it just really depends what the project is. It just so happens that we've had a magnitude, a multitude of shitty projects that yep. have been poorly handled. Plague Doctor says, love both your channels and nerd theory. Do you guys think John and Dave will do a movie at one point? That was uh, a rumor a while back. But I just like, again, I just don't like, why not? Like, just go for it, dude. Like, if you're in the spot you're in, I don't understand why you don't just lean on those two dudes and just do that They're as the stupid. next movie. They don't right, but care. So stupid, they don't. Dude. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They like imagine Dave being in that room. Imagine right? Dave and John making a freaking Star Wars movie. Or it'd be incredible. But like I imagine the sequels. Right for sure. But oh like, my god, dude, you guys suck. They suck, dude. Think about what how Dave's got to feel that the Miss Marvel director is coming. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is this? What does that have to do with Star Wars? What is going on? Are we not learning from our mistakes? We are clearly not learning from our mistakes, dude. I don't think the system works. Noah says, what's up? Hey, guys. My six-year-old brother, Cruz, requested a little shout-out and was wondering if Josh and Theory were actually real people. Which love? It's debatable. Um, No, actually, uh, we were created by Disney. And uh, we are not real people. We we're are. a psyop. Yeah, we're actually just all part of their new deep fake program. And they've just been testing it out. And they've actually created this rhetoric where um, we are really passionate fans of George Lucas. Mm. Mm. Just give them a better understanding of who to weed out. The toxic ones. Yes, yes. And the, uh, the ones who just eat up mm. everything that they make. 100%, yeah. So... Just jigs up yeah oh well but Face thank you very off. much cruise shout out to you shout out to me ben luke and palpatine film yes sure <laughs> why not and snoke yeah palpatine's returned again but it's not a trilogy <laughs> it's I a one-off snoke. i made another spin-off no games, no movies. I love Andor, but it's not enough Star Wars. True. Yeah. yeah, no, it's really not. I mean, you look at Marvel. There's several shows a year, and there's just several movies. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Yeah, it's weird. Random content guy says, I got a stream literally right now. Sequels? Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Kyle Luke Palps seems more like a one-season show. Yeah, yeah. I hope that'll happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horrible day today. My depression is really trying to win. Let's please have some positivity, but anxiety is getting to me. Love y'all. Go Vader. I'm excited. Noah, I'm sorry about the depression. I'm sorry about the positivity. The most positive thing we can say is that tomorrow, more Dave Filoni Star Wars comes out. So there you go. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, Noah. Just know that uh, you are not in control of your anxiety. So all you got to do is just let it to be there and let it exist. It is not in your control. So can't do anything about it. Just let it be there. No big yeah. deal. Remember when one man had a vision and would write a script for Star Wars instead of a committee desperately looking for ideas? Pepperidge Farms remembers? Yeah, Pepperidge Farms remembers. I remember. I remember. Again, I... Why is it so familiar? Oh, that's a, uh, I think it's a family guy meme, isn't it? Try to get Elisa to watch a little family guy. She was not about it. Really? Yeah. Why? She's like, what is this? I was like, just one of the greatest yeah. American television shows ever created. Damn, it seems like Eclipse is going to be single player. Would you rather it be multiplayer like Battlefront or like Fallen Order? Much love. Yeah, I think it's going to be single. Order. Fallen Order. Yeah. Sure. Faux show. Uh, by the way, regarding uh, depression and all that stuff, I have a talking channel, which I've been uh, undergoing over two years of 
psychology with one of the best psychologists on the planet for OCD. So um, over there, I talk with a lot of the community regarding like yeah, mental health, um, anxiety, depression, things like that, things that help me. And the community also chimes in with their own stuff. The channel is called Theory Talks. I hold a live stream every week and it's actually a great community there. So it's a fun time. Go and check it out. Hey, Josh, if you shave your head, you'll be as cool as Star Wars Man. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I hate the That's idea, of it, but maybe it'll happen. If you go, if you start going bald, which knock on wood that you don't, do you think you would shave your head or you'd be like one of those that just tries to like keep what you have? Uh, it kind of depends. Um, I could do like a Rick Rubin thing and just kind of let it go, let the beard go crazy and kind of just let the sides go and just be a wild man about it. Um, or I could try to like preserve you know, a more kind of pristine vibe, which I think would be like, you know, shaving it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of depend, dude. Yeah. Oh. Felone. Yeah. We'll never get top billing because it's A-list talent that drives share prices, not fan favorites. That's why it's always recognized name like Lindelof. Yeah, no, I think that that is absolutely a Hollywood thing. I do think, though, that Hollywood's perception of how things work now is not necessarily congruent to how they're actually functioning and i think that fandom has more power than it's ever had and so i think that a name like feloni might not blow up the trades even though he was just mentioned in a trade article um i think it would actually move the needle so i understand the rationale he's bringing up i just think that uh times are changing Tony Gilroy said they had no Lucasfilm oversight for Andor. Thankfully, Andor is turning out to be a great show, but still, how the hell can we get anything consistent with this awful management style? Yeah, it's just not a way to have a cohesive brand vision, right? And I think that's obvious. It should be self evident Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, he also said he doesn't like Star Wars, so what the hell? Right. <laughs> it's turning out to be a pretty good show. Uh, go figure. Mm -hmm. Doomsday versus pull full potential Anakin. Who wins? I say full potential Anakin, but I want to know what you guys think definitely full potential anakin that's a bad matchup for doomsday doomsday doesn't really have any ability other than being a brawler yeah um definitely full power anakin i mean he could just crush him with the dude he would eat his lunch it's not even close yeah he would drink his milkshake yeah there's more to life besides star wars dragon ball z and cobra kai expand your interests Oh, dude, we definitely have expanded oh. interest. It's just that this is the show. Wait. <laughs> what? Hold on. Are you telling me there's other things out there that I could be interested in? Yes. When were you going to tell me about this? When did this happen? I mean, I thought you knew. Dude. Don't you like lifting heavy very things? Exciting news. Wow, I have a whole world of things to discuss and uh, dive into after this stream. I can't wait. I feel like this is a, a guy you. that's confused. I will definitely be expanding my interests after this because uh, let me tell you, I was getting real tired of just Star Wars, Dragon Ball, and Cobra. <laughs> Kai, so. Yeah, especially given the state of Disney. Dude, lifesaver. Thank you for the five dollars. I appreciate that. That's that. <laughs> Chad, I should have. I should be paying you for that. Thank you. Mm. Hey, Theory Loving Man, you're an inspiration. Oh, thanks, baby jug. Bug. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Kalisto! Hey, Josh. Always good to see you. Hey, Theory. Re your comment about Star Wars YouTube metrics being down. Do you feel like it changes your thought process when making your own content? Much love, guys. That's an interesting question. What do you think? No. No, my general way of making content has never been about the algorithm. Of course, that can help with making additional content, such as like if Andor is out, if I make a video regarding, uh, yeah, like the other day, like explaining why there were clones during the Empire. Yeah, that's fine, but that's explaining stuff. I would say it's always nice to hop on to certain analytical traffic of like things that are popular at the moment. But generally, if you've watched my channel for the last six years, you've seen that I've just kind of strayed away from the norm and I've just kind of done my own thing, like fan fictions, 
com I like well I'll bring up comics from like freaking 10 20 years ago you know um I just kind of cover what I want to cover and the time that I don't is when I just start to like lose interest so um I like to just stick to what I like and have fun with it and if it does well it does well if it doesn't it doesn't there are videos that um just in terms of views don't do well but the the people who do watch them love them you know sure. like and that's great you know, I, I enjoy making them. So that's really all I look at. So what do I feel like making today? You know? Hey, guys, I've enjoyed watching this live stream lately, and I'm bummed Joe Josh stepped, stopped covering Star Wars. Thoughts on an Old Republic trilogy saving Star Wars? Um, yeah, I think that would be great if we had an Old Republic trilogy. I think covering a Palpatine story would be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Old Republic trilogy, sure. I mean, originally I thought maybe that's what uh, Dan and Dave were gonna do, and if they went like full on with it, like I would do like this is a phase or whatever. And so you have the maybe three Old Republic movies coming out. Maybe you've got a show each year that deals with the Old Republic. Maybe you've got some comics that deal with the Old Republic. Like, go for it, right? Uh, and something like that could be really fresh and cool. But um, what's yeah. something you want to see really bad? From Star Wars. Just in general for Star Wars, I would like to see either, you know, Dave taking a big, big project like a movie or a series or something, or kind of like what I just talked about. It doesn't have to necessarily be uh, Old Republic, but like committing to a whole involved vision for a couple of years. Like imagine if, because by the way, I mean, this is what's so crazy to me, dude. The writers in the eu and a lot of these video game people they did this on their own like they would make games that tied into novels that tied into this and that and they like created this cohesive thing way before it was all under one umbrella right so like something like that i think would be dope like just commit to something with vision you know what i mean um that's what i want to see from star wars and a movie would be pretty awesome. Yeah, it would be. I think we'll get one eventually where Grogu's like old and <sighs> true. Why Star Wars is dead in 12 words. Let's make a movie, and if it sells, we'll make a sequel. P.S. I know you hate my pick theory, but I still like your content. Thanks, man. Legend thrillers a member. Thanks to all the members. Uh, do you guys think Star Wars should do something like Marvel special presentation, like a Star Wars special presentation? Yes and no. I kind of think that's, in some ways, I think that's what Andor already is, right? And it's like Star Wars, like Marvel, like comic books are so, like there's so many different things in comics. So you can do a horror thing or you could do like a R-rated thing because like, Marvel's had like sex and violence, like X Force sex and violence that was like TVMA in the comics before, right? And so you have the like sort of freedom to do that. I feel like Star Wars is a pretty specific thing. Like the closest to that is Visions, in my opinion, which is still thematically very Star Wars. You know, it just sort of blends it with a, a style of uh, something else. That one shot is going to fail. Said it might feature sequel characters. What if the actors say no? Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm pretty sure they'll offer, offer a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, some of them. I mean, some of them will say yes. Just pop a couple Xanax before each interview and collect the check. Yeah, what what uh, uh, Rick, Poe Dameron say? If, uh, I'll do another Star Wars movie if I need a new house. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Smack Daddy Slap says, I agree with Josh. Disney Star Wars does not have the magical feeling it used to. It is missing the mystical energy the first six had. Sad to see. Yeah. It's a little sad. Sad to see it. I agree with that. I agree with that. It's a whole different perspective on the Star Wars universe. Oh. Uh, John is. says, still pushing for Joseph Kosinski, Top Gun 2, to direct Rogue Squadron if Patty doesn't. Yeah. I would love it for Disney to right, do that. I don't understand why they're not doing it. Why does why does Patty and them not working it out have to kill the entire project? Like that's yeah. just stupid. Josh, your pride is clouding your judgment. W and or look, man, I'm glad you like it. Your pride 
is clouding your judgment, Josh. Um, no, it ain't. Join me, and together we can stop clouding your judgment. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Sick. Josh sounds like a sequel trilogy writer right now. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but your profile picture is pretty what? funny. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. Sounds like you write the sequels. Why not? Uh... Why not? Josh, Josh, Josh is a sequel writer. <laughs> Anakin Stock says, really like Andor. Interesting side of Star Wars. See this as an interesting palate cleanser, but I do really want to get back to the mythic side of Star Wars, which I think is the best. Let's get back to business. Take my money. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they do uh, revert back to that. That'd be cool. Really like Andor. Interesting side of Star Wars. See this as an interesting palate cleanser, but I do really want to get back to the mythic side of Star Wars, which I think is best. Let's get back to business. Take my money. Money. <laughs> the oppression of Gormans by Palps is a connection to rebels. Mothma also mentions Gormans in her Holonet speech against Palps and Rebels season three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We saw it briefly in season three. Yeah, a little connection. I don't know if, I don't know what season it was, but we saw it in Rebels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gormans. Josh takes like this are why Disney keeps putting out BS. God forbid they make a fresh, unique story. More Skywalkers. Boo. Yeah, I disagree, bro. And we're still better than Solo. Mando season three is going to slap. What do you mean more Skywalkers? All they do is. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> And are still better than solo. That's true. That's facts. The Caught end the end here. First super on oh, Well, man. thank you, Caleb. That's very cool. Caleb. What's up, Charles? Andor. I feel like all the background characters they always made toys for ever always made toys for, but never explained in the movies. Now I have a TV show about them, and it's cool, but it'd be cooler if they had lightsabers. hundred <laughs> percent, dude. That is kind of what it feels like. Andor is the She-Hulk of Star Wars, in my I opinion. It's not, bad. it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. Like, it's functionally a good show, but it's more like... It's just the wrong vibe, dude. There's always a bigger fish. This is true, though. Hot D makes me realize how bad Star Wars shows are. 10 out of 10. Yeah, Hot D is on another level, bro. Hot D. It's uh, on another level. Thanks, I guess. Tyler one's cool. Uh, watching your vids gives me such painful Star Wars nostalgia. Sad since the magic isn't there anymore in the new projects. It is kind of well, sad. Thank you, but I'm also, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I try to do is I, I like to focus on, um, you know, how Star Wars made me feel as a kid. And I just focus on the shit that I liked. True. It's, it's not like a, um, yeah. You know, I'm going to read this one and then I gotta go pee. Uh, Ashton Parker says, Are there any Luke Skywalker centered books you'd recommend, both canon and EU? <sighs> um, Luke Skywalker, I mean, Air of the, the Empire, of Mindor, um, yeah, Air of the Empire, um, The Last Jedi. <laughs> The last Jedi novelization. I'm gonna uh PO be right back, right? Yeah, okay. Uh chat, let's hear it. What do you guys think? Some Luke books. You gotta go back to the nineties ones. Those were the ones that really focused on Luke. After that, it was um the viewership chart y'all showed last week was incorrect. Supposedly the guy who made it said it was wrong and Andrew was performing way better. Okay, well, does he have a new chart for that? I mean Way better. It it was literally like the last on the list. It was at the lowest, so way better would bring it up to like what? Not even Book of Boba. So we'll have to let Josh figure that one out. 
again, do you guys feel like Andor is doing stuff that Kenobi should have done, like in filmmaking, flashbacks, and how dominant the Empire is in the universe? Yeah, it just, the set doesn't look claustrophobic in Andor, and that's what I really appreciate. In Kenobi, everything just seemed rushed. In Andor, it seems like it's too slow, but it's honestly better than being rushed. So. How much will your lightsaber cost? Will there be a payment plan, or is it a one-time payment? Uh, I don't know if there will be a payment plan. We could try and figure that out, but no, we'll probably just do a one-time payment. Um, we're thinking it's going to be $750. We're doing a lot of stuff to it, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. They're almost done. They look fantastic. I mean, we've got the best soundboard and tons of sound fonts. The best soundboard in the world, GHV3, arguably. And it's very customizable, very easy to customize for the customer as well. And the overall hilt is very dual-centric. So, well, not dual-centric, but like trick-centric in terms of just practicing with your saber. It's not something that I wanted to have you uh, have, an, have a hard time with. So um, we've added leather grip. We have sanded the whole thing down. We've changed the complete coat. And now it's going to have a much more unique and dope feel to it, dope look to it. But more details will be out soon. ISB act selfish and self-sabotage dark side. Good guys act with conscience. Good side theme is there. Yeah. Yeah, seven. Yeah, no, Kevin, 750 uh, is definitely reasonable. It, uh, if I wanted to price it at market value, it'd be over a thousand. And if I want to say, like, oh, it's Star Wars Theory Saber, it'd be like 1100 for what competitors are charging. But um, no, I just, this is my first saber. So I just want to do, just want to get it out there. So 750, 800, we'll see how it goes. Dude, I just had the craziest, like, dream that the next Star Wars movie was going to be a one shot sequel to episode nine with sequel trilogy characters that's crazy man thank god good thing you woke up yeah jay skit says for mr film school is there a specific story structure like dan Harmon's story circle that you look for when watching movies if so does it change uh when you read your comics uh well the story circle is the mono myth it's just like a dan Harmon's version of the mono myth so that's like very like joseph campbell um but no like to me i can appreciate all different kinds of arcs i appreciate ascending arcs i appreciate descending arcs i appreciate flat character arcs but they have to be compelling they have to be interesting um so no it doesn't necessarily change and then as far as like from writing it depends on what the spark is um whatever the spark is that like gets me interested and excited about the story i usually sort of um expand out from that um, and it could be any number of things. I actually do tend to write darker, deconstructed stories most of the time. But uh, I've written mythic stuff. I've written, you know, high fantasy and stuff like that. So <clears throat> bring back race cow. Oh my god! Dude. Look at that picture, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah, this uh, came yeah. up. Oh yeah. So here's the thing that's crazy about that. Um, that that story's true. It's still lower than anything else, though. You know what I'm saying? So it might be a little bit less bad than we first thought. I also, by the way, found it really suspicious that after our show, that guy issues a retraction. It's pretty wild. Yeah, whatever. Maybe a coincidence. I am a Star Wars fan for life. Love all the movies and TV shows. Good for you, Joey. Maybe someone went to him and was like, these toxic guys are using your graph. Disney was probably like, why don't you uh, look at that data a little more closely, if you know what I'm saying? And he was like, oh, shit. Uh, but in all seriousness, if he did legitimately mess that up and put that out there, that's a huge L. Because it's not like we were the only people talking about that. That shit was everywhere. No, bro. We're not a freaking official news station. We're just two nerds talking about. Yeah, 100%, dude. And that and guy's a trade Hollywood reporter. Here's yeah. a question for you. Yeah. If it's really a huge fuck up on his part, how does he still have a job? Yeah. Uh, XA says force sensitive charge on Andor was translated. Look it up. It's for real. Oh, you mean like just on his thing? Like on the letters of it? Because she definitely didn't say that. Or the Orbish? No, yeah, I mean, I'll look into that. Lance Central's the name. Sure is. But at the end of the day, the dude's graph is still accurate because it's still the lowest of all the Star Wars shows. It's still the lowest by a large margin. Where's so, the argument? What's the argument here? 
The argument is uh, it's not as bad as you were making it out to be, I guess. We weren't making it out to be bad. We were reading a graph. I mean, I still think it's bad. It's not good. You don't want Definitely not to be good. at the low end of at the worst. Of, <laughs> right? Analytic wise, he's like at the bottom of the list. <laughs> but we're doing a little bit better than we thought, Theory. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, I'm definitely loving Andor. It feels different and familiar at the same time. What? Uh, can't wait for tomorrow's episode and definitely can't wait for Tales of the Jedi. Right oh, on, dude, Me too. So stoked for that. Damn. It's like, Josh, I didn't miss 200 shots. I missed 190. Oh, man. So what do you have to say now? I have to say you still missed a shit ton of shots. <laughs> Would the Senate have been able to keep the Empire from crumbling as quickly as after Episode 6? Eh? The, the Senate wasn't in power. I would keep the Empire from crumbling as quickly. What? I don't understand. Is this a Mad Lib or something? Like, if they were in power? Uh, no, it wouldn't have made a difference. Is this Pig's Latin? Samuel Michels says, I'll say I'll have to say KK's leadership is the reason why I'm more of a fan of Marvel now than Star Wars. Her decisions and the way the sequel trilogy was written was just not it for me. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. She has certainly not excelled at her agree. given directive. What my worthy apprentices. Damn! Elijah 50 says who is and is not a star wars fan first we need to define what is star wars josh said andor is star wars made by lucasfilm has the brand on it they own the ip that's star wars i would argue you can buy an ip but you can't buy the spirit so star wars just an ip and no. what is a fan yeah you take this one first it's definitely a spirit it's definitely the spirit of star wars you look at the first six movies you get the spirit of star wars if you look at the clone wars spirit of star wars there's just a different feeling I, it would take me a while to actually kind of debunk what that feeling is, but it's a feeling of mysticism, hope, interconnectivity with the entire story of each character's path, uh, the Force, lightsabers, and family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's about uh, good versus evil and the allegory or like the way you explore that good versus evil is through the force so i think central to star wars is luke skywalker's power it's very important what does he do with the power that's very important as well so the pull to the dark side the desire to use your power to subjugate and gain more power is an allegory for the destructive parts of humanity when we try to oppress or selfishly go after our own shit. on the other yeah. side to be selfless with one's power to like give it up or give it back. That's like a really cool, like important human thing. So to me, like that's what's central to Star Wars. But what Elijah's referring to is I think it was like a stream a couple of weeks back where somebody asked me and I said, like, I don't get to decide what Star Wars is, right? Because I because people were like really getting at me for saying that Andor isn't Star Wars. I guess you know, if I really wanted to be like super pedantic about it and clear, I'm it does not evoke the familiar Star Wars feeling that I associate with the brand, right? Right. But like I just shorthand it. It's not Star Wars. Um, so like yeah. well, you can't shorthand thing things nowadays. People will get butt hurt and they'll be like, What what do you mean? Yeah. And I'm not saying Elijah's butt hurt because I think the point that. he's making is that like, you know, oh, they could right. make Star Wars till the cows come home. It's just not going to like be Star Wars or feel like Star Wars. Hey, George. Yeah. They've lost their touch. Yeah. Another fifth day. Oh, Dave is good, but everything mm -hmm. else, not Star Wars. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Theory. Me and my fiance just binged the entire mm -hmm. Cobra Kai series after watching the Karate Kid trilogy. The show's mm -hmm. amazing. Johnny Lawrence is my dude. LOL. Can't wait. For season six, Star Wars should take a page out of their book. Oh. Fantastic. I have an interview that I did with two of the three showrunners, and they talk about um, their hopes for one day touching a Star Wars project. And I really? Think doing a really good job. Yeah. Well, the hey, one check kid, it out on my Cobra Kai channel. The one kid's now the Blue Beetle for DC, and that's kind of yeah, cool. Solo. Yeah. 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 Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? No, I've never heard of it. Never heard of her. I thought not. It's a Sith legend. <laughs> hmm. 
didn't even so KK KK have KK. Luke just introduce the quality project and why he believes in them. I mean, wow, what a move. Um, I just don't think he's interested in that. And he certainly isn't interested in pushing some shit. So they'd what? actually have to like give him what actual control. Hmm. What's the quality project? No, 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 no. Like he's saying instead have George come out and announce the Star Wars projects and why he believes in them. Hmm. But he would never fake that. So he would have to actually believe in them. Therefore, they would have to give him control. Hmm. And they feel, uh, I mean, it seems like they don't want to do that. No. <laughs> but Mitch. Mitch. Yes. The day is, the day goes well, sir. And I hope it goes, goes well for you. The day goes. Josh, I love you, says no low F. But you're spinning way too much facts right now. It's time to get back to your regularly scheduled shilling, Luke Soka. Luke Soka is dope. There Don't say go. that. Yeah, it's hot. What is that sweet ass lightsaber drop in theory? Soon, Mr. J. Westman. Soon. Nice. Palpatine Very verse Dooku plus Maul plus Savage plus Asage. Who wins? Dude, you just, that's too many pluses, dude. Palpatine. And also Palpatine. She killed everyone. KK gets fired and we party the galaxy end of episode six. Dude, actually, I think about that almost daily, dude. I literally think it's going to be nub nub. It's just going to be like. Yeah, dude, <laughs> I, I will upload a, a literal picture of that or like a. You know what I've been thinking? You know what, honestly, bro, I was thinking about doing. I was thinking about getting a really nice, like maybe Dom Perignon, right? Like a nice bottle of champagne and getting a little cooler, okay? And literally putting that shit in a cooler. And just having that chilling back there, ready to Waiting. go for the for the. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, wouldn't that be kind of? Yeah. yeah, I might do it. Yeah, that'd be good. So, so hyped for, for Tales the of show. the Jedi. Sorry, you take it. go for it. Uh, excited to see Dooku and Qui Gon. This will be the best modern Star Wars show, in my opinion. I mean, I think it's gonna be really cool. I, I wouldn't hate it if it was the best. But uh, I like Mando a lot, so. I'm with you, Jackson. I'm ready for it, dude. Can't wait for the watch party. Yeah. Which character arc and Tales of the Jedi are you most looking forward to? The, uh, Dooku. 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 Yeah. My man. It's been a long time coming. Damn it. Yeah. Good sound effect. I did it, but I mean... Andor is okay, but more excited for Tales of the Jedi, which could be more than 15 minutes. One of them 17 minutes. So there you go, Fat Man. So really, four minutes if you take out the credits. Ah, shit. No, I heard the credits were like 30 seconds or less. Yeah, okay. That's what I heard. Hama says, do you guys think they should have named it the Imperial Bureau of Security? Maybe something Rebels worrying about IBS would have been fun to watch. <laughs> uh, 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 I feel like I have IBS every time I watch Andor. Oh! Ah! Don't say that. Don't say Not every that. Star Wars media has to have lightsabers of the Force, and the Force sensitive Jesus. characters will always have that pedestal. But it's good to see the average human alien playing hero for once. But they could do that with a lightsaber too. I am so sorry. Don't feed Phil. But respectfully, I disagree. Hello, guys. Hope you're having a nice day. It says Alvaro de Anda. You guys prefer Star Wars to be really good short series and movies that flesh out the Star Wars universe. Or more like the MCU where everything ties in together. You know I don't what? understand the question. I'm going to go, go ahead and say I want to see a really good short series and movies that flesh out the universe. Not I mean, that like sounds it. great. That sounds great. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Expo City says, remember the book series Lucasfilm was supposed to adapt to that got canned? It's not just star wars kk is having trouble making movies it's all lucasfilm yeah that's true what was it like bones and something there was another thing they were going to do more movies of and then they quietly were like no we're not fucking doing that oh yeah right right something in skeleton something crew and then there was something else yeah well skeleton crew i think is still on it's still happening yeah yeah i've been writing the star wars script and would like <laughs> your opinion is about ray falling to the dark side and finding ways to pull her out i'm a pass i like it I like it. Why don't you write a story on Dark Side Ray that we saw in the cave? She probably has a life. Maybe that's just how she knew how to say hello by uh, showing her teeth. True. Can't imagine she gets much human interaction in there. 
Hmm. Oh, she's Maybe. gone. I was just saying hello. Hmm. Maybe. Josh, I don't get why you left Star Wars content, but still do Marvel. They've been putting out worse content, in my opinion. All the shows have been mediocre, and a lot of the movies have been meh to garbage. Uh, I think some of that's fair. Um, a lot of the shows have been pretty bad. And I've liked a lot of the movies. There have been a few misses for me. But generally speaking, like, here's the thing. You're talking about 10 years of filmmaking, the vast majority of which was titties. On top of that, you've got a future slate that's laid out in front of you with a lot of hyped up shit. Like, dude, Dr. Doom's on the way. Kang's on the way. The X-Men are on the way. So why am I still on the Marvel train? Because that. Would you rather binge the sequels or binge the Star Wars Disney Plus shows? Who wins? Qui Gon or Kylo Ren? Depending on how you did the shows, you can make that bearable. Spider? That was a fruit fly. Hmm. Why won't you die? Damn it. Bitch. Uh. Nope. Did you get it? Nope. Okay. What the? Dude, it's a Disney fly, bro. He just keeps coming. KK for sent a fly, like a, like a drone like fly, and then he's like, "Dude, yeah." Can you imagine? There's somebody like at Disney with this little like robot fly, like get him, get in his face. I wouldn't be surprised. Dude. Lucille needs to take notes from the showrunner of X Men '97. Yeah, Hire did you hear X about this, dude? No, it was dope. So this guy came out and said, because he's the guy that was like the lead writer on the X Men '97 show. He said rule number one for his writer's room you had to be a fan of the 90s x-men show if you weren't a fan of the 90s x-men show you're not in his writer's room no and he talked about how on the witcher because he's also a writer on the witcher that there were some people in the writer's room that hated the games in the books and he was like how is this happening so when he got the x-men thing he was like you're out Poof, you're out yeah what did he get for x-men He's got the X-Men 97 show. It's like the continuation. It's an animated show, but it's a continuation of the 90s X-Men show. Dope. What? Yeah, yeah, it comes out next year, yeah. It's just going to be sick, dude. Oh, they still going to make Rogue look... Probably not. She looks a little less sexy. Yeah, oh, for sure. No. I know, I know. Why? You know why. Why? Because they don't make them like they used to. No, they don't. <laughs> Disney does not have the rights to make a Dragon Ball movie. Geekton made a video debunking this. You guys rock, by the way. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow, Josh. Wow. This is Josh right now. I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Take a seat, young Skywalker. Liar! It's you, baby. Sorry, I let you down, chat. You're good, bro. What let you down. To Star Wars fans who do not understand, do not want to understand your our vision and expectation of Star Wars. My message to Star Wars fans who do not understand, do not want to understand my vision or expectations for Star Wars is that they just carry on. They don't have yeah. to understand my vision of anything. Yeah, I don't need their Dude, understanding. I'm irrelevant. I'm just an I'm I'm as irrelevant as you are. Like it, you know. Whether you understand what I want or don't, it makes no difference. I'm not an authority on Star Wars. I'm just a fan. Like, let's not get it twisted. Let's get it twisted and go crazy. Jesus. So uncivilized. Point for yeah, Tales yeah, of the Jedi yeah. and the Watch Party. Also, do you think the new Inquisitor is the sixth brother? Also, he might be my favorite Inquisitor, the way he has designed that bird skull mask. Yeah, bird skull mask is dope, bro. Yeah. Remember when the Inquisitors wore masks? Well, Sick was going to can his booty. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I remember when they wore masks. There's one timeline that can save Star Wars. Mando Wars movie. KOTOR TV show. KOTOR 2 show. Revan with Star Forge against oh. Sith Empire movie. Star Wars Soul Republic show. Take my money. Dude, you just got a lot of real estate out of that five bucks. Congratulations. <laughs> that was wild. Hey, nerd theory. Where can I send you guys my son's Miles Mandalorian costume picture? 
Uh, tag me on Twitter. On probably tag him on IG. Yeah. I don't got Twitter. It's pretty much the only thing care. I'm active on. Huh? That's like the only thing I'm active on, really. Yo, 50 bones from Tauntaun. Gimme, gimme the fan film theory. Gimme, gimme the comic, Josh. Love you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Appreciate For it. Sure. Um, yeah. yeah, uh, chat. When should I start doing these? streams for not for vader episode two when should i not yeah. do these streams dude yeah when should you know where you don't send super chats for vader episode two when should i do those what day what should i What's title that? them give me a title in the chat and i'm gonna use one of the titles oh shit yo can i show a page off of this comic it's in black and white it's not colored yet Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Sammy Turner keeps popping in, says, at first he said Theory doesn't care about his fans. He only cares about his Lambo. Theory doesn't care about his fans, and if you disagree with his opinion, he'll make you feel bad. Also, the Sabres are so expensive to fund his Lambo, not the fan film. Damn. How'd you know, dude? This dude's on it. You're going to ruin my plot. He's a Walter Cronkite. I can't believe you would expose. He's a me. regular old. <laughs> All right, I can't see. Get rid of yeah. my Lambo. <laughs> Yo, oh, Check. that's sick, dude. Isn't this shit sick? That's dope. Yeah, dude, I'm loving. That's dope. Loving the shit he's doing. It's real cool. You wrote yeah. all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see uh, the colors on this too, bro. A lot of, a lot of destruction. It was like Paris, London. It's gonna be cool. They're just flying around yeah. the world. Uh, it's just like mass destruction. Like part of the story is like a World War Three, but like with superheroes. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> just yeah, the runs. Bulge, the time for the two. What the time for the Jedi to end plot? What if Ray made Luke the true last Jedi and took on the mantle of founder of a new order of Skywalkers? Maybe that's what the movie's about. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Enter me, please. I okay. feel me. Whoa. Damn. What's George's kids doing? Maybe. That's a good question. I don't know what is. What? Damn. Hey. Damn. Damn. George's kids doing? Maybe he, they should run Lucasfilm. I don't think they really care. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about him. Yeah. I don't know nothing about him. I don't know if they're qualified for the job or whatever. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. Hey, Theory and Josh, I wanted to know if you guys are going to check out the new Yoda comic coming out in November. It sounds interesting to me. Uh, I mean, if somebody really recommended it to me, maybe. But... Maybe so they put out previews or something. They're going to ruin Yoda now, too? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'll check it out. Sure. <laughs> really? Really yes. fun? Also, Josh, I hope your comic doing great. Can't wait to get one next year at a con, hopefully. You guys are amazing. Keep doing you. You guys are an inspiration to many, including me. Thanks, Chad. Hell yeah, man. It'll be cool to see, see you at a con next year, for sure. We'll, we'll have copies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll get a copy. Yeah. Will the Soviet use Force Lightning? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no to both, Frank Castle. You dirty mother trucker. See you later, mother trucker. Disney should find a Japanese studio to make a Star Wars manga and anime. I know they tried, but they need to go all in. Yeah, I like the manga yeah. stuff they do. I do. I I liked Visions. There, I mean, some of the episodes were just really boring, but some of them were really great too. Right. Yeah. In the first episode of Rebels, the Empire tightened security on Lothal so much as a result of the Aldani heist. I thought this was a cool connection. No, that is cool. It is cool. 
I wouldn't deny such a cool connection. I love that show anyway. You all know that. Last one for me, boys. I recommend R Record of Ragnarok. Record of on Netflix. Super crazy anime. Much love and see y'all next year. Later, Alex. Hmm. Thanks okay. for chilling, man. Check it out. Thanks, Thanks man. for the donies. Appreciate you. Hey, guys. I agree that Book of Boba Fett and Kenobi had issues. I've acknowledged it before. But I don't think Rob R. or Deb Chow should be banned from doing more Star Wars stuff. John and Dave helped them in Mando. What say you? Ooh, that's interesting. What say you, man? Robert Rodriguez or Deb R. Chow, should they be banished from the Star Wars island or should they get another go? I think Deborah Chow should be. Mm, that's a tough one, dude. Robert Rodriguez has made some great movies. Once Upon a Time in Mexico. True. Uh, I just, yeah, Deborah Chow made some. The, she touched characters that are more important to me than Boba Fett and just literally didn't even focus on them and made some really stupid decisions with Reva. That yeah. I don't even I haven't even ever really made a video on because I just like too pissed off. Yeah. Like, why? Why? Yeah. I don't want to get into it. Jeez. I mean, I'd say you could give them maybe give them some episodes, but maybe not their own show nope. again. Nope. You know nope. I mean? I'm done with Deborah. <laughs> I'm done with Deborah. I'm with Deborah. Nice. Rodriguez. Yeah, sure, but nope. Hmm. Why? So I can get some get a headache with this freaking shaky cam. Shaky cam. Do you think they will do the Lucas sequels? No. Do you think they should get a single director picked by Lucas and Lucas to be there and help when needed? In Filoni, we trust. Yeah, that would be great. Well, I mean, Filoni Never going to happen. He talks about how he calls George sometimes. So, Yeah, I want to see if they like talk mad shit. We should record them and leak it. Michael Mitchell says, what is the plan for the watch party tonight on night and or Tales? I think uh, Theory's tales. doing Tales. Mitchell, uh, Michael. Theory's doing Tales. tales. We might do and or after, but yeah. You know. Oh, Batman Superman tattoo. That's cool. Mike Hello. Toast. Love Mondays because of nerd theory. I'm a diehard Snyder fan, but even got BVS tatted, and I really like Black Adam. Hamada was worse than KK, and he's gone. Yeah, Hamada was pretty bad. Yeah, I like Black Adam. You haven't seen it yet, no? No. Yeah, you should definitely see it, dude. I thought it was awesome. I want to see it, yeah. I have no time. Josh, what do you think of the eye sequence in six? I did not watch episode six, so I can't comment on that. I just went to seven. A theory. I would love the editing job. Here, since pre 100K subs, I sent you a message. I'm Comedy Hub HD. I could do the job better than anyone else. That's a dream job. I have 90K followers from edits. Okay. Um, do you want to... You said you DM'd me? I sent you a message? Okay, you DM'd me. Okay, well, I'll, I'll check it out over time. And uh, I'll get back to you, man. Thank you for that. God of War. God of War 2 weeks. Yes. Oh, that's cool. God of War. Pretty God hyped up, huh? Very. Very. Can't wait to play the game again. Do you think KK is self-aware of her shortfalls? <sighs> no. I think everyone might be self-aware. They're just... Um, they just say things perhaps like, no, I'm good. You know? It's like, hey, maybe I need to do a little bit of introspection... And find out who's really on the inside. I know, like, you know, are these people maybe, do they have some validity? I think a lot of people just go, nah, I'm good. I'm yeah. perfect. Yeah, I think I, especially I think in Hollywood, it's pretty easy to ignore one's flaws. So, Yeah, well, I think a lot of people in Hollywood think they're better than other people. And mm -hmm. they um, probably disregard a lot of the remarks or um, criticism from oh, fans yeah. who know the product better than they do yep someone tell me where kathleen kennedy parks her car so i can <laughs> take a big steam and schmookie on it right on can we get more strength three yeah yeah would it be would legal, it be legal? <laughs> uh as, <laughs> as like higher talent because if they got the share price to go up that would do it for sure um i don't i think it would be legal yeah i just think that they're just they're against it dude like that yeah i don't think that'll ever happen at this point i don't think george would do it i don't know if it's legal my lord is that legal i will make it legal that's nice. disney <laughs> they could literally nice. make whatever they want legal that's true actually yeah that's fair 
Fair enough. Okay, what about this matchup? Full potential Anakin versus Doctor Doom as a god, bro. Come on, man. You gotta balance the scales a little bit easier here, dude. God Doom wipes everybody. Like he killed the Beyonders, dude. Wait, what? Come on, man. I don't know much about Doctor Doom. Well, this is a time in comics where he was the god of the universe. So, like, well, Anakin would have been a god basically if he had reached his potential. He ain't good. He not. not, not mm-mm. Well, think of the Mortis arc. He was already, he was already overpowering. He's pretty powerful. Yeah. Dude, did you just see this so, panel in Secret Wars where God Emperor Doom comes up to Thanos and literally rips out his skull and his spinal cord, dude? It's one of the sickest things I've ever what? seen. Dude, it was fucking awesome. No way. Yeah, it was sick. Wow. Here, I'll see if I can find it. I'll show it to you. That's crazy. Yeah. Thank you guys for doing what you do. Your impact on the fandom is very admirable. Thanks, Garrett. I enjoy watching these streams every Monday. May the force thank you, Garrett. We enjoy doing them. Bro, you gotta see this. Just you guys. Off topic, but how about Black Adam, boys? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it was dope. About time I want this KK Nightmare to end. Link to OnlyFans, please. Oh, sure. Right away. You know, check this out on the share screen. So he literally like Jesus. And he really just comes up to him. He like he says, "You are not a god. Uh, you're unfit to uh, rule, or some shit like that." And Doom just rolls up and just like <laughs> and rips his shit out. He's like, "That appears untrue." Damn, Thanos died. Oh hell yeah, dude! <laughs> he just yeah. never comes back. Oh no! So after Secret Wars, they reboot the whole universe. Uh, so he comes back. How the hell does Doom do that to Thanos? Does Thanos this fall is when... No, no. But even if he did, they probably wouldn't be a match for Thanos or for God Doom. What? In fact, yeah, Black Panther actually wields the Infinity Gauntlet against God Emperor Doom towards the end, and it's like not anything. It's not. Like, because, like, it's kind of hard to explain, but, like, all the power that basically created the universe, right, was done by the Beyonders. And the Beyonders are these beings in what's called the Beyondverse. It's, like, everything beyond our multiverse. And so, like, they're destroying the whole multiverse. And Doctor Doom ends up killing all of them and siphoning their power into essentially him, but it's kind of through a receptacle or whatever. And so then he takes... With that power, he goes out and grabs up all these little chunks of like what's left over in the universe or in the multiverse, and he slams it all together and creates Battle World, which is a singular planet. It's the only thing left in the entire multiverse, and Doom rules over it as a god. It's like, and literally everyone in the Marvel universe is there. So a lot of them are, but they're like, it's like kind of random and different. Like, he grabs up like some of the 92 x-men he grabs up like some of the exiles marvel zombies and like kind of wedges it all together and creates like a a universe but there are some characters that made it through the collapse of the multiverse so there's like an avengers team and then there's like a cabal team which is where uh thanos comes in at so yeah it's pretty wild as Andor progresses, it gets more Star Wars to me and opens up the larger story. I agree. Lucasfilm needs to show us what the next 10 years of Star Wars will be. I really want to see the rebuilding of the Jedi Order. I be down. Yeah, maybe that movie is going to be about Luke and freaking Kylo. Maybe. Owen says, hey guys, I'm doing work at Disney World next semester. Thoughts on Galaxy's Edge slash what would you change about it to make it better? Thanks for being you. Oh, what would you change? Everything. I'd make it all about... Uh, the first nine films then in that situation primarily i would make it for one to six but we all know there are people that like the sequels so we want to include them too so we'll do one to nine um and we'll just have different stations which would be different planets and when you walk into a planet the whole atmosphere is different so if you walk into let's say kashik it's like all humid and foresty if you walk into mustafar it's all hot and there's just like lava everywhere well, it doesn't have to be lava it can just be like a very shallow stream that looks like lava um if you walk into hoth it's snow and ice and there's ice it's snow falling from the sky uh if you go to star killer base 
You got Starkiller base. You could see Snoke. Take pictures with Snoke. Where you see just a hologram of him. And it's like a massive hologram. And you walk in. You're like, holy shit. This is insane. That'd be so cool. But they decided to have a very short-sighted... Unfortunate. They, you know, yeah. Not very creative. Hey, dudes. Look at that Master Splinter. Pretty like, cool. Josh, imagine we had a Boon to Eve pod race roller coaster. Be sick. Yeah. Be sick, dude. How cool? How cool is that? It'd be sick. But pod racers, they're like, nah, bro. Let's do Ray. Hey, dudes, two animator slash storyboard artists here wondering if you guys need some work done. Hope you guys are doing well. Much love. May the force be with y'all. Um, Hit me up on the Twitters. Maybe. 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 I'd love to see your stuff. Poe can return again to deliver quite possibly the most significant lines in cinematic history. Somehow Palpatine returned and they fly now. That'd be so sick, dude. If they just do that again, like, <laughs> I don't know. I'd almost respect it. That'd be great, dude. Yeah. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Pretty good? Chilling, man. Chilling? Yeah. Hey, guys, I know what Josh thinks, but do you guys want more shows like Andor that shows the lives of normal people? Uh, nah, after this, I'm done, actually. I'm, I'm good. I want more shows based on the Force and lightsabers and Jedi or Sith. Damn it. <clears throat> oh, sorry. I don't know. I blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I'll become I'll be a member if you team. make Old Republic content. Oh, no, I have. I have like a two hour video on Old Republic stuff. Make new Old Republic. But it's old. Make new, new old. I'm late tonight. Uh, I'm late tonight. Josh, how did you like the hot D finale? Ooh, it was so, so good. Oh, yeah, goodness. it was really, yeah, it was really crazy. Good crazy good. ending, too. Chomp, chomp. Love watching Wash and Wee Wee do an episode of Nerd Theory. It was like almost, um, it was like poetry, dude. It was cool. Andor means a lot to me. That's all that matters. Hey, that's uh, very cool of you to say. I like and I'm happy too. you like it. Good attitude. And a cool picture. Josh, how's the no sleep life? Get ready for four month sleep regression stage. Uh, we're there now, and it's brutal. Yeah, we're trying to make it work, man. Um, we got some help over the weekend. It was my fiance's birthday weekend, so like my aunt came into town and kind of helped us out, but still the sleep was rough. Um, yeah, we're we're making do though, bro. Making do. Hey guys, new to both your channels and Star Wars, other than the movies and shows. But I want to dive deeper. Where do you guys recommend I start? Love both your stuff. Excited for theories. Movie. Me too. I can't wait for the premiere. See all you guys there. And uh, hopefully you all like it. Hey guys. Where to jump in though for Star Wars, they asked. What? Diving in to the lore. They were talking about the lore. In the question. Other than the movies and shows, I want to dive deeper. Oh, yeah, I skipped right through that. <laughs> Where do you guys recommend I start? Well, I, I feel like we're a broken record when it comes to saying, let's, you know, we should all read the Plagueis novel. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. But yeah, any of the Black Horse, uh, Dark Horse comic books, any of the, the books, um, I would say either the older books are great and the mm -hmm. newer ones kind of selective for my taste, such as Dooku Jedi Lost. Plagueis, the Thrawn novels, yeah. Heir to the Empire, the old ones were great. Um, yeah, those Angel were good ones. Fantastic. Honestly, I'd recommend uh, YouTube videos. YouTube videos are great, and they, they can get you caught up on a lot of different things. It's true. Hey guys, I've been a fan of yours now for roughly three years, and I love all you do. ordered my second Order 66 hat the other day. By the way, do you guys know any place I can find some cool nerdy Star Wars merch? Oh man, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of places. Bro. Merch website. Um, probably Box Lunch. Disney Star Wars characters are so bland and boring that they result in adding stupid new droid goofy creatures to get merch to sell. True. Yeah, I mean, I'm not arguing. 
I'm not arguing. Yeah. Thanks, John. Hope you're doing well, man. You guys should just screw and get <laughs> nice. and cut the tension with a knife. Okay, right. Maybe on, that's John. why we were late. Yeah, and also maybe the tension's important for the fucking chemistry of the show. show Chili cheese dude. nips. God. What up, fellas? If Disney gave you complete control over one Star Wars movie. What would it be about? Young Palpatine. I would do like a kind of X-Men thing where the force users are all being hunted down. Yeah, man. The magic is still there. I think since they are a business first expanding universe to appeal to new fans means there are things for mainstream and hardcore fans to enjoy. Don't have to watch everything if you don't like it. Fair. Fair take. I agree. That's fair. It's like a smorgasbord. What would you change about the movies and why? Hell no, not for two dollars. Are you kidding me? That's a low <laughs> question. Yeah, just uh, Bro, vision, what? vision, story, progression, interconnectivity. More respect uh, for George's how, shit. How about a plan? Yeah, how about, how about a plan? A plan? Really enjoying Andor so far. I can see where it doesn't feel like Star Wars, though. Think we will ever get animated show diving into the intricacies of the Force. Example, the Wills. Love you guys. That would be really cool, man. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. That's what George wanted to do, but I don't think we'll ever get that, sadly. With that charge, though, we could potentially see Vader. Dude, I don't think that he was charged with, with the Force. Yeah, I don't think so either, bro. What's a Warhammer army, Josh? So I'm building uh, Blood Angels. Blood Angels. I think with Thrawn name drop at some point in Andor, I also bet Andor meets Ethereum and Mira Bridger in prison. Oh, okay. So Ezra Bridger's parents. That would be cool. I would like that. And I'll hear about it in a YouTube video. I don't think they're alive. Oh, no, they are. Never mind what I'm saying. I wasn't, I wasn't arguing. arguing. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, my bad. Yeah, Sorry, no. man. No, it's all good. We know. No. <laughs> if you had a progress bar on screen of how much the super chats are pushing you towards your finance goal, it would do wonders for you. Ooh, uh, yeah. So that's cool. What I would do is I would just show the chat revenue. True, that's but the bar is kind of nice, though. People like watching bars, man. Yeah, but I don't know if I would. I don't know how to, how to get a bar. Can you do that on Streamlabs or something? Or. Um, <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm assuming there's some way to do it, but then again, I mean, don't Twitch streamers do that? Like, don't know goals? No, I'm, I'm sure there's like a just a, like a Google thing. Um, um, what's the tip? Our calculator? I don't know. Not tip calculator. Um. Loading bar, yeah. Oh, damn it! Oh, eh. Yeah, do you know of anything that? Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, basically, this is it. But it's just like a website. So it's not really. Oh well. Oh well. People oh, do on Twitch well. all the time. Yeah, I think there's a way, but the APIs for Twitch are more interactive than YouTube. Yeah. You could do a bar every time you do a nerd theory and share it with Josh. Hell no. Dude, I want the bar. Give me the bar. Hell no. Sometimes you just need a bigger boat. I've said. <laughs> nice, dude. Uh, the team and team will make a comeback. That'd be great. Love that would be cool. How are you or anyone who loves Star Wars being called a hater when all you want is excellence? A bit silly. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, whatever, bro. I'll just wear it as a badge, badge of honor. Made it to the uh, hope, you both hope you both are doing well. Papa Josh and Master Theory can't wait for Tales. For, wait, what? And Ragnarok and Black Panther 2. For a second there, I thought he was talking about Thor Ragnarok, but no, it's the game. And yeah, Black Panther 2 is really going to be dope. Dr. Doom. 
Has anyone Has checked, checked, on checked on him? I mean, how about Harrison Ford being the Red Hulk, man? Let's go. It's like 80. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably the Indiana Jones movie. He's probably shooting Indy, and they were like, you know, it's kind of easy these days, huh, Harrison? He's like, no, oh, they do all the work, you know? And he's like, you want to be Red Hulk? Not really. You want $50 million? Red Hulk sounds nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm just assuming they give him a just, boatload, dude. Are you kidding me? Terrors you should make a Operation Cinder movie and bring Gareth Edward back to direct your thoughts on that idea. May the force be with us all. Hmm. Yeah, that, that would be, be interesting. interesting. I'd, yeah. I'd also like to see um, Gary Whitta return. Hmm. Sure. Fair Are you going to cover Return of Mace Windu in New Star Wars Visions number one comic? I didn't know this was happening. I didn't know about that either. I didn't know this was happening. I really lost interest in the comics once they started taking the Vader comics in a really strange direction. I just mm -hmm. didn't enjoy it. Yep. That would imply George Lucas believes in the project. Yeah, 100%. But, uh, yeah. Josh, Josh and was Josh, make my day. I always love the streams. Thank you, Evan. Okay with it. GL of Star Wars, George Luca. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> totally, dude. I would think Disney would demand Lucas involving. <laughs> you guess again, man. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah. No rhymes five too. Survey says, uh, Josh, you a DC Comics guy? If so, is your favorite run? Oof. Maybe Blackest Night. Blackest Night is dope. I also like Kingdom Come. A lot of good DC stuff, man. All Star Superman. I mean, if you're a Superman fan, you should read All Star Superman for sure. So there's a few. Lucasfilm needs to take notes from the showrunner of X Men '97. They need to have actual fans of the projects, so not hiring random and hot directors. Mm hmm. Agreed. I agree with that. I wonder if Dark Side Ray is less evil than Ray Ray. I know you only some anime are. manga. Thoughts on JoJo's? I actually can't get into JoJo. Just too wild for me, bro. I don't know what that is. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Launch the Tinkerbell drone. Yeah, see, they got the Tinkerbell drone coming after yo ass, bro. <laughs> Damn. What the hell? <laughs> Much love from Brazil, guys. Says Pedro. Nerd theory in your videos brought me closer to Star Wars more than ever. Also, Josh, thoughts on HOD finale? I was devastated. Yeah, it was crazy, man. It's about to pop off. I said uh, on my stream earlier today, I think season two of House of the Dragon will be the biggest show of all time. I think it'll have the biggest premiere of any show ever. I think it'll have the biggest audience than any show ever. Really? Um, yeah. Yeah. Even more this... than Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. Totally. What did the season finale for Game of Thrones have? A lot of people watch that shit, dude. How many people was it? I don't know, 40 million, 50 million. That's rude. No. I was going to say the R word. I was going to get canceled. Uh oh. <laughs> Jedi Knight Justice for Gina Carano says, I second the Operation Cinder movie idea. I was hoping Janina Javankar, Iden Versio, would be in the Rogue Squadron movie. Also, Josh, I DM'd you on Twitter. Why didn't you reply, Josh? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll look. Oh, look. Josh doesn't care about the fans. He only cares about his Lambo. <laughs> right on. Um, not sure if my previous super chat came through. Anyway, here's another five for the Vader episode two. Love the show. Keep it up. Thank you, Thank Gold you, Lord. Just gave a, portion, a big portion of that to Josh. So, Yeah, so you fucked up. Gold so Lord. he just sucked a lot of you. I drink your milkshake. Uh, theory, please push three Star Wars soundboard buttons. Thank you very much. I don't know what that means. The buttons you do to press the, to put the scene. Oh, those on. are gone. No, you do it all the time. Yeah, they got like cleared. The, you cleared all your shit. You mean the echo? No, this the scenes like uh, this is when the fun begins and stuff like that. Oh, like yeah. videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello there.
the attendant on my life has left me scarred and deformed. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. God damn, originals were so good. They were so good. Even just hearing like a clip like that. All right. right. No, Sammy, stop, please. Oh, he's in again. Gonna expose me. He's in again. But again, dude. Oh, stop. Thrawn and upcoming young Palpatine meeting, killing Plagueis, Qui Gon training Kenobi, going on missions, Vader hunting Jedi. What's hard to understand? Wait, what? <laughs> well, was, of course, what when you read it like that? No, that's how he typed it. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Okay, Devil's Advocate for Josh. Marvel Comics did not have mature content until they had mature content. Hang on, let me just absorb that. What? Let me just take that in for a second. Let it just work around my brain okay i got it i got it uh they were on genre until it had multiple genres holy shit hang on let me absorb that for a second uh on genre how is this different andor is learning to do good the genre oh shit andor is learning good star wars theme right on matthew <laughs> it's just so uh deep you know what i mean i had to take my time with it <laughs> yeah, dog is gonna be serious part of your head cannon theory <laughs> um yeah no because of reva yeah no yes it is oh uh, no it's not look Did anything you? disney makes is is i consider part of canon for me to discuss because disney owns it now but in my head Anything George Lucas made, any of the books that were approved by George Lucas during George Lucas's time, those are canon. So for me, look, Plagueis novel is canon. Look, if you don't have Reva in your fan film, I am going racist to make a whole yeah, and I'm going to make a documentary about it. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. So there Enjoy. You go. I can't afford a super chat long enough to explain how Marva and Cass's last conversation should be treated like Luke and Yoda's. That's a stretch. <laughs> I love I love their interaction. Don't get me wrong, Marvin Castle's last conversation. But it's hard to compare it to that. But uh, yeah, I mean it was it was a it was a great um conversation regarding hope and and bro, she sounded more like Luke than Luke did in The Last Jedi when she was mm -hmm. talking. Yeah. Um I think what he was trying to say with this was that he there's not enough money in the world to afford the length to maybe try to waffle through some kind of an explanation of how those things are equivalent. So I get him, you know, I understand what he's saying. Last one for me, boys. I rec Wait, didn't you already leave Alex? Yeah. And he, we read this. Can't too, get so he, boom, can't boom. Get he must've put it in twice. Sent it twice. Must've Alex. What are you doing here? Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? Caleb says, hey, Theory, what's your thoughts on Xanatos as a character? And would you ever want to see him in the show? Yeah. Love both of your work, by the way, from Down Under. From Down Under. Uh, Australia. You're right, mate. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see Xanatos. He was Qui-Gon's apprentice before Obi-Wan, and he turned to the dark side. It'd be really cool to see. Hell sure. yeah. Grab me a Folsters. Throw a shrimp on the barbie. You've ordered multiple hats with nothing to show for it. What do you mean? You've ordered multiple hats and you've got nothing to show for it? What does that mean? It means he didn't order shit. Yeah, I don't think he did. Sammy Turner. He's the new... Uh, what was the other guy's name? Darth Zane or something? Zane, yeah. It's the, mm -hmm. He's the new Zane. This is the new Zane. Right on. Right on. This is the new Zane. I already forgot his name. Yeah. Just tagged and forgot to mention. I love you guys. Love you, well, damn, Wander Digital Media. We love you right back. I think Andor is excellent. I don't understand all the mixed feelings on it. I did start slow, but if you remember Breaking Bad, started slow and became the greatest TV series of all time. It's my two cents. I don't think this will be Breaking Bad, but yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool that you like it, man. It's cool. It's cool. 
it's just it's a cool. little crush. <laughs> hey, look, it's cool. It's just a little crush. Mm. What was that song called? Uh, I have no idea, bro. I'm not good with pop culture. Uh, it was like, like from the 90s, dude. It was a good song. It's just, just a little crush. Jennifer mm-hmm. Page Crush. Mm-hmm. What was the group? The Jennifer Page one. Oh, Jennifer Page. <laughs> Is this your jam, dude? Just, you guys can't hear it, so it's just looks ridiculous. Bopping on it. Um if we game tonight, I'll bump it. Hmm. I can never catch y'all live. That's a cool photo. Because I'm always traveling for work. Day five of supers until Theory FaceTimes me. Congrats on Liam, Josh. I'm so late. Until I FaceTime you? Oh, I remember this dude. He was like, I'll pay money until you FaceTime me. Yeah. And then, dude, you've been gone a long time, dude. (laughs) Yeah. This ain't day five. This is like day day negative 100. You need 100 days just to get back to zero. Yeah, bro. You abandoned our asses. Yeah, bro. You hate yeah, us. I know I know inflation's wild, but maybe you should have thought of that before you came up with your ridiculous schemes. Yeah, before you returned with your lightsaber in the rain. Yeah, bro. What's that about? Yeah, bro. It ain't gonna happen. Maybe if you uh, send, uh. I'll FaceTime you if you send five hundred million dollars. <laughs> Captain's log. It is Tuesday. The tenth. <laughs> I can't watch anymore. Uh, moving on. You think Vader should be stronger than Obi Wan in Episode Six? Yes, and he was. Yes. What are you guys' favorite Star Wars movie at the moment? Original prequel and prequel trilogy kind of goes back and forth between Empire and Revenge of the Sith for me. Those are my two favorites. Kill his mom. Oh, sorry, save his mom. Oh, moment. I thought you said move. Oh, movie moment. Um, probably the end of Revenge of the uh, oh. Return of the Jedi, dude. Uh, this shit's epic. Can't beat it. Perfect ending. Oh, Can't beat it. That's a good moment, too. The Titai milk. <laughs> Did you get it? Uh, Would that be funny if, his, if you broke like your mic right there? Literally. Oh. Bow, bow, bow. Me, Mr. Mother in Miyagi. Ew, gross. Now eat it. Got his ass. Eat it, bro. Uh, I'll eat it if someone dono- donates a thousand dollars. Come I'll on, guys. Them. Somebody, somebody, get that thou out. I'll eat them. Come on. Let's zoom in. Come on. Yeah, no one's gonna donate. <sighs> May you rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You know the last thing to go through his mind. His ass. His ass? Yeah, he smushed him. Last thing oh. you go through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I got the Disney show fly. Nice. What's your favorite Star Wars video game moment? Oh, and your favorite animated series moment. Damn, oh, dude. Oh, what are these questions? Um... <laughs> what are these questions lazy raven literally a star wars channel asking him like hey what's your know, favorite right? part of star wars what's his fucking question <laughs> what the hell is this <laughs> this fucking guy uh i'd say kanan's <laughs> death in rebels <laughs> <laughs> Literally the most like Star Wars question I you know, can ask. I know. Like, he's like so on point. What You're the hell like... is this question, dude? <laughs> because it requires actual hey, man, thought. Just... It's like 
damn. Can you just tell me what your favorite Star Wars moment is? Um, <laughs> of course, favorite Star Wars video game moment, probably, uh, let me think. Um, <laughs> just for funny reasons. Uh, if you all were there during the stream, when Cal Kestis is like on the ship after Jaro Tapal dies, after his master dies during Order 66, and he's like, ah, ah, and he like screams, and I just lost my mind. I was like, <laughs> I was getting pretty emotional. Oh my God, this is sad, and I just couldn't stop <laughs> Nice. Probably my favorite moment of all. I can't really think of a video game moment. You're a big fan. I guess. Um. Oh, favorite animated series moment? Mm. I'm just gonna like give you guys some different random answers, whatever comes to mind. When Anakin was beating the crap out of Clovis, yeah, it was epic. True. Favorite Star Wars audiobook without a full cast, not Dooku Jedi Lost, minus Darth Bane trilogy. Uh, I would have to say Plagueis. Mm. Like we mm. Lords Play of the guys. Sith. What? Lords, Lords of the Sith. At the end of the day, they have to be more authentic with the brand moving forward. I collect the Legacy Sabers 30. And it's all about money to them. Much love to you both and to the little one, Josh. Wait, you Thank collect you. the Legacy Sabers, all 30 of them, and it's all about money? Wait, why would you do that then? He's a collector. I guess. Yeah, well, I think if anything, uh, I stand for authenticity of a Star Wars fan, that's for sure, which is a lot more than you can say nowadays. It's very far and few in between, sadly. sadly. There's just so much money to be made as a Star Wars quotations fan. Mm-hmm. And ain't it, ain't it so? And a lot of hotel so, visits and premier red carpet. A lot of red carpet, a lot of premier visits, a lot of free swag. And Mark Hamill will retweet your ass too. Yeah, Mark. Yeah, Mark Hamill's never yeah. retweeted me. He's never commented on me, and he'll like comment on so many people that fake as. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little jealous about it. That's okay. Yeah. Valkyrie says my favorite Star Wars moment was when Luke and Ahsoka. Did it? What's your favorite sentence from three different books? Damn, dog. Favorite sentence for two dollars, bro. The best of times, it was the worst of times. Here, pay more. It's my favorite sentence. And great shorts on your streams, too. DM on IG. Nice for my for like my gaming channel. Or, um, of your streams, mm. of your streams, bro. Uh, I gotta say that my favorite scene in Star Wars is definitely when Anakin goes to save his mom and the celebration at the end after the funeral pyre for episode six. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Uh, that's a good one. Those are both pretty chill. Absolute, definitely, yeah. I love lightsabers, so I'm so excited for yours to come out. Legacy savers. Uh, were the ones the best price, but I know yours will be much better theory. Oh. Well, I hope so. I mean, I, I can't sit here and say that I'm, it's going to be the best sabers ever made because I'm very new to making sabers, but I'm doing the best that I can with this first run. And uh, hopefully this will be a company that will really grow and um, truly take out the greed that's in a lot of the saber companies and bring back the the heart of I would say George Lucas Star Wars and, and the passion that drives me into making each saber hilt and of course Mark is part of the project too so great team member to have so I'm excited going forwards you know and I'm, I'm really stoked it's a very big business venture it's a lot of money to start something like this especially when you're making only a hundred sabers you know these companies order what 10,000 at a time, they get special deals. I mean, 100,000 at a time, they get special deals and stuff. But yeah, learning my way. It's a tri trial and error. But so, we'll see how it goes. And then the next one will be better, and I'll just keep learning from 
previous uh, orders, previous previous renditions. True. Just because you thought Just your father knows there's 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 life, much love. Hey, thanks, Hannah. Thanks, Appreciate Hannah. you, brother. Always on Spotify. Okay. If you're always on Spotify, then that's good. Episodes ago, you asked what happened to me if I was broke now. Well, I am. Josh, make sure Liam grows up with a Nokia. Damn, it's because he paid us too much money. Theory's so hungry for money now. He changed. Bro, why'd you change up on us? Well, of course. Who's going to pay for my Lambo? Who's going to pay for my house? Yeah, man. Shit. Who's going to pay for the half a million dollar fan film that I'll make zero dollars off of for your guys' enjoyment and for my yeah, own? Dude. Hey, freaking bug. Who's going to pay all these people I hired? Who's going to pay for their lives? Who's going to pay for their work? Who's going to pay for all the animations? Who's going to pay, gonna pay for, for the sabers to be made? Tens yeah. of thousands of dollars going in. Who's going to pay for these Pellegrinos? Who's going to pay for Josh's diapers? Yeah, man. I don't know, bro. What old school game would you like a remake of? I'd be insanely stoked for Jedi Academy or Outcast Remastered. Dude, remake the old Punisher game for Super Nintendo. Oh, my God. That's a good one. Do you think Vader Show would be a good idea? No. Hate Vader. Josh hates Star Wars. Yep. At the beginning of this vid, you said job was open to create shorts for your page. I really want that job. I have 90K in Insta for making reels. Okay, well, I'll check you out, man. I'll be in touch. Yeah. Not saying you're going to get the job. I'm just saying. Yeah. I have received the fact that you have sent a application. For sure, recently, I could do your page. Nice. Thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate the enthusiasm. That's Dude, you're going to be ordering pizza with the gang during Jedi Survivor? Those streams are going to go yes. crazy. Yeah, man. He wants you yes. to know you're, you're the freaking best, too. Yes. He wants you to know you're the freaking best. Maps on Twitter trying to cancel theory. Be like, oh, my God, he put Star Wars explained in his video title. Like, bro, it's a common phase. S STFU also tails. Let's go. Yeah, what's wrong with putting Star Wars explained in your video title? What's wrong with putting Star Wars theory in your video title? You want to know the truth? Yeah. The words Star Wars. <laughs> Crazy. I'd love to hear the argument on this. Because I've heard this come up a few times. I'm quite confused mm -hmm. what the issue is. Do they need a tissue for their issue? I could debunk it for you in two seconds flat. Do you need an issue for their tissue? Why does old rep get no love from Disney? We dying? I don't know, bro. Yeah, that's a good question. Theory, I sent you a possible big problem with Andrew. I wrote in my notes on IG, just food for thought. Love you, Josh, and keep being you. May the force be with you. Boom. I like your profile picture, dude. Josh, I'm glad you never left. Hey, thanks, man. Oh, thanks. Oh, cool. You think they'll touch more of the Luthan Rails, Kyber Crystal, and Andor? Where it came from will it ever be used? Yeah, that was an interesting little tidbit they dropped, but... Well, I want them to take the next decade to create the next trilogy instead of the five years Disney took for the sequels. That would be cool. That would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. Put some sure. planning. They, yeah, you know, and maybe have someone that won't leave the project con constantly looking over the timeline and seeing, you know, things not changing. Like Dave Filoni, for example. Yep. Dave Filoni. Found. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait, hold on. What? So I was explained as another channel, and it seems there are peeps complaining about that being in your titles, not that super. Oh, well, 
let me explain that very clearly. Um, if that is the case as to why a few loud people would be angry that I use Star Wars explained in my titles, such as every other YouTuber, because we're, well, explaining Star Wars. Mm -hmm. um, there is another channel called Star Wars Explained. And if I make a video with the title Star Wars Explained in it, think of it like this. If you have an ocean, and we call that ocean Star Wars Explained, the more people use that tag, the bigger that wave gets. The bigger the wave, the farther that wave is going to go, and the more people will see the wave if you use Star Wars Explained. So my channel being quite a large Star Wars channel, okay, the largest Star Wars channel, if I use Star Wars Explained, it will tenfold make that wave so much larger so that his entire channel will be seen so much more. So if I stop using Star Wars Explained and everyone else stops using Star Wars Explained, his channel will not be as successful as it is just on those tag words and SEO by itself. Which, by the way, I think, uh, and I don't want to speak for Alex, but originally I think his channel was called Star Wars Minute, and uh, he changed it to Star Wars Explained. And I think he actually did it mostly for SEO reasons, maybe for some branding, but uh, it's just, you know, it's kind of smart, but he's using that same uh, logic. Yeah, well, he, he I think he used to do, uh, what he told me, was he used to do like, minute long videos and then he's just yeah, so his minute longer yeah. videos so then he switched to explain and it was a good name so mm -hmm. but like the same goes for other people who use <clears throat> star wars theory it just i have created such a massive um tsunami for the keyword star wars theory so yeah. if someone hops on that they're just surfing <clears throat> dude. they're just they yeah, are trying sure. to reach more people well there's a lot of uh traffic on youtube that's suggested Right. And so to get suggested traffic, you essentially have to be suggested by another video. So it just makes sense to use the most popular people, the people with the most, uh, you know, views to then try to get recommended views off of. So, yeah, yeah it's, so, common, it's a common YouTube thing. Right. So what people don't understand is that. And, and please forgive me, I'm not trying to be arrogant, um, but because I have the largest channel with the largest amount of views. Whenever I use that title, it benefits everybody else who uses that title, including the person who has their channel named that and exponentially lets their videos to be seen far more in the web of Star Wars SEO for YouTube. If you look at it like a web, it's like, oh, I'm over here. I create a ripple effect and it goes all the way down here and Star Wars Explained will become more prominent. Now, I don't need to do it. It doesn't help me because I'm already the largest, so I could... Theoretically, I should just be using Star Wars Theory as that has the largest SEO, but it's not a theory video. If I'm explaining Star Wars, I'm explaining Star Wars. So I figure, well, yeah, why not just say Star Wars Explain? I'm not going to be um, stingy about it. And I want everyone to grow. And the more Star Wars YouTubers are out there and the more successful they are, the more they grow, the more we all grow. So it's not like a, uh, oh, this is mine. Like if someone uses the word name Star Wars Theory in a title, and it's actually a theory. What do I care? I don't care. Right. I'm focused on my own videos. Like, like, has nothing to do with me. Right. It it only if it only helps me in terms of views, anyways. So, um, if the people complaining would understand that, then they would probably think twice. Yeah, for sure. So, it's best to be a little more educated on things. Are you more excited for Dooku or a uh, Dooku storyline? For sure, hundred percent. Dooku. One more show. Left. Fine, <laughs> Caden. Aren't you broke? Save your money, dude. Oh, Jesus. The hell, man. We don't want you to go broke. I'm heading out man, on a uh, church, church mission in Albania Albania. for Whoa. two years. That's cool. Uh, I look forward to seeing Vader 2 when you get back. Oh, that'll be sick. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it'll be there when you're back, I guess. Be safe, man. Yeah, be All safe, dude. For sure. Black Frieza versus Mastered UI Goku, Ultra Ego, Vegeta, Beast Gohan, uh, Legendary Super Saiyan, Broly, Orange Piccolo, who wins? Uh, I don't know. That's kind of hard to say, but I 
Wouldn't be surprised if Black Frieza cleared them all. Okay, so the Beast Gohan arc. Oh, what fuck? When did that take place again? Well, Beast Gohan is just after in the movie. Moro. I think so. Yeah, yeah. It took place after Moro, and that's right before I think Vegeta starts to learn from Beerus. Huh? No, 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 no. Beerus would have before the Granola arc, but it's after the Moro arc. Well, he was still he'd still trained with Beerus, but you mean like for Ultra Ego, mm -hmm. right? So maybe he doesn't have it. Yeah. No, I don't think he has it yet. At that point. But I still think Black uh, Frieza clears him. Yeah, he one shotted Ultra Ego and uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. He literally one shot at them. I know like it wasn't even close. I know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So ten years of training on free. I mean, yeah, I've I've watched like some videos on it, like Seth the programmer and some other people that like try to break down how powerful Black Frieza is, and basically just it's absurd, like it's ridiculous. But I also think that uh vegito with the patara at uh like ultra instinct level would be i think it would crush black frieza like i think it wouldn't even be close because the patara multiplies their power by their power right so like whatever mastered ultra ego is multiply that by itself that's ridiculous like yeah, I just wonder if Ultra Ego Mastered is more powerful than Ultra Instinct Mastered. I mean, they're totally different styles, but at the same time, it's just cool how one doesn't get you hit and the other one needs you to get hit. Yeah, 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 yeah. it is really interesting. I think a fusion between them using that so they actually have a perfect balance of it would be imagine? sick. Yeah, it would be awesome. I think they're going to do it. I think that's how they beat Black Frieza. That's crazy. That would look mm -hmm. insane. I would want to see their next Super Saiyan form, like Beyond Blue, or, well, I, guess, I can't really, why, well, yeah, I guess, Beyond Ultra Instinct and Ego to use uh, their old Uzaru forms. Like Super Ooh, Saiyan forms. yeah, that would be sick, dude. I've always wanted that. to go back to that. I yeah. need that. I want to see that. Hey, dude, they should do that hey, and so still do Super Saiyan 4. Like, why not? So oh, nice. What's up, Danny? What up? Geekdom has a Star Trek channel, right? No. Oh, no, it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Right. And he likes the Transformers too. Yeah. 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 He loves Disney. Loves them. Yeah. 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 It's the same guy that always tries to bag on you all the time that said it made me so goddamn mad. It's such a dumb thing to. Yeah, whatever. He can. Yeah, live, haters gonna live hate rent you. free in his head. Living rent free in his head. <laughs> The timing. We could have Danny on the show one day. Yeah. <sighs> Again. Yeah. Oh, I messaged you on Insta about the editing job. Can you check? I can edit really. Uh, need a job right now. Be happy to help you out. Yeah, it wouldn't be so much editing, just like clips. But yeah, editing, I guess. But anyways, that's it. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the show tonight. Th uh, three hours long. Two hours, 58 minutes. And uh, go subscribe to Josh's channel at the Den of Nerds and his live stream channel at the Den of Nerds Live. Of course, subscribe here at Star Wars Theory. And subscribe to my Spotify, which is also Star Wars Theory, with daily episodes, daily podcasts. And we got Geekdom in the chat, so subscribe to Geekdom's channel, where he talks about Star uh, Dragon Ball. Or Star Wars. <laughs> and then I have a Dragon Ball channel that's very tiny, but just started Dragon Ball Theory as well. You can check that out. Love you guys. We hope you enjoyed tonight's episode and we will be back next week where we will talk about Tales of the Jedi and what we all thought about it. Okay. Yeah. Josh, because he will watch this one. I will. Yeah, and then for the watch party, we're going to do uh, Tales of the Jedi tomorrow with me, so at midnight. So, see you guys there. Love you all. May the Force be with you. And you're sounding like a separatist. <laughs>